All right, take two at going live. Like, I haven't done this before. It's weird. Um, I don't know what that was all about. I'm trying to use my back face of camera, so I want to switch this around. Um, so I'm just going to leave it like this until I get my feed up here so I can show you exactly what I'm doing here. I do apologize for the last feed. I have no clue what that was about. So I want to go here. And everybody's like, yo, your live stream is garbage. What were you doing? It, I was blind. I couldn't see anything. So we're, we're, we're live here. Hoarders with J-Drone. Everybody that got the notification prior um, didn't get no notification. And it shows, like, wow, we, we just got to... <laughs> All right, so I think I'm good. Minus uh, the, the effect that we have going on there. All right, so I'm going to try to turn this around on me. Trying to turn this around on me. You get a little glimpse at the drone room. Okay, there I am. Bam, so, um, we're going to go ahead and stick this up here. Hopefully we keep our feet. I have no clue why that blacked out last time. I'm in the drone room, and I'm trying not to touch the screen because I have no clue why that blacked out last time. And that is up there. Now, if that's going to stay, that'd be great. I can try to maximize the stability of this by uh, just like that, maybe. There's a possibility that's going to fall. <laughs> There's a possibility that that camera is going to fall. Um, don't mind my hair, dude. It's it's hot. I worked all day. Um, hopefully that's going to stay. Maybe that'll stay. Um, but what's going on? Anybody else that just checked in with the J-Drone show that checked in with the last part, um, I apologize. I apologize for the last feed. And if you guys want to get a little typey-typey, as you can see through my glasses, um, the D-Hone did two. G drone room yes the drone yeah you can see it this is probably the first time i've actually had the drone room behind me um because generally i'm using my front facing camera because i like to be able to see myself so i've put a uh, like the throne room yes like the throne room so i kind of put it this way so you guys have quality and also so i can uh keep an eye on your comments over here um if you can see through my glasses you can see uh Nope, here. If I'm looking here, you can see through my glasses the glare off of the computer. I got a Pac-Man machine in front of me. That's how I got the logo and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, so we're live. We're live. Some of you guys have asked me, when are you going to go live? Um, you don't go live anymore. Uh, I, I am, dude, in my respect, I don't have a collar on. I am a blue-collar worker. Um, I mean, I have other lucrative means of making a little bit of cash moolah. But um, I do work... I, I work like you guys do, so uh, a lot of the time there's not a whole lot of uh, time to go live because this is time consuming. If uh, if this live feed does well, there's a possibility to go on for an hour or two. Um, there are four people watching. If you're in here, type what up, crazy hair, um, and I'll say what up. I'll give you a little shout out. Um, but uh, so I really have no format on this. I, I I really don't have anything planned. I don't know if you guys have. Gears, Gears iced tea around your way. I know down south you guys only have that sweet tea. Um, you really don't have like brewed iced tea like farmers or gers. Um, oh, not sponsored, just showing it. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I mean, I really don't have a format going on. I have stuff around me that I could definitely talk about because clearly we have lots of stuff around me. Um, how about over my shoulder? I think it's over the shoulder. Let's see if I got it. Bam, right? Let's see. Up, 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 up. Bam, so. Nope, wrong way. Anyway, Call of Duty drone back there. That's pretty cool. I picked that up uh, Picked that up in a game store. I've only flown it once, but uh, it's kind of cool to have on the shelf. But here, so what, what have I been flying? Uh, what does J drone fly? I'm trying to think of a word. Um, Bamzo Scott, what up, brother? Um, Van City RC Ice T up here in Canada. Um, oh, Jack D here. Colin, what's going on? Van City RC, you have iced tea up in Canada, not that sweet tea that they got down south. You actually have like some type of brewed, what we call it, we call it iced tea. Um, they call it sweet tea down low, and they don't have iced tea down low. <laughs> Uh, like like once I once we travel like down below North Carolina, you get down there, it's just all sweet tea. There's no type of brew tea whatsoever. Um, and I mean, big around here is farmers iced tea, but uh, in the county that I'm in is yours. Van City RC says correct. Now I got a question for you, Van City. Why? What? What's your name for? What, what, what do we got the Van City for? I got a homeboy named Paul Barger. He travels the United States in a bread truck. Um, do you quite possibly have a van and go city to city or 
do you live in somewhere predominantly that made vans or let me know i'm interested in your tag um i'm definitely interested in your tag do you travel around in a van or something um i don't know if that's your, your your tag caught me everybody got regular names besides rose rose but uh, underneath uh vancouver vancouver so is that van city i don't know much about vancouver i do know it's in canada I know it's in canada but all right um so what, what, what was I trying to get at? I was trying to get at something here. Um, what it, You guys see me flying all types of different things. Manufacturers send me stuff. I buy stuff. Um, Colin Taylor's Tea here. It's just 108 a.m. here in the U.K. I know, and I keep forgetting that, that you guys, it's early in the morning in the U.K. I might have asked you, have you ever tried disabling the battery alarm on a Bugs 3 Mini? Um... No, I haven't. I have one next to me, though. We can check it out. Also known as Van City. That's cool. I didn't know that. Van City. Vancouver. Shorten the name of Vancouver. Like, Van. Like here, the closest city that I'm near is called Hazleton. They call it H-Town. Is that kind of what you what you guys do with uh, Vancouver, with Van City? Um, that's, that's what I can see there. But here, B-Slides, B-Slides. Give me one second. All right, so here's my, like, this is a heavily modded um, Bugs 3 Mini. Uh, let's try to put that that way, or maybe even put it back here. I don't know if that's that's going to go off camera. Let's go on my other hand. Hold on. <laughs> trying to figure out camera angles. There, you might be able to see it there. I'm trying to get the, the light to glare off the nose, as it kind of just did there. But um, this is a heavily modified Bugs 3 Mini, and... This thing has, no, it's not an e-sheen. It is a Bugs 3 Mini. It has an e-sheen's uh, case on it. I got the e-sheen's case on it just because it was flatter. Um, the Bugs 3 Mini was more domed. Um, I have, clearly, I have an EX2 as well, which is, where is it? Ah, it's on this shelf over here. Um, there, right there. Let's see. Bam, bam, bam. So, we might be better to here we'll look at this because this is the guts are open i'll talk about my bugs three mini really quick um but here so my bugs three mini i got gps on this it doesn't lock to gps satellites but it gives you all types of telemetry and uh i got a pretty dope fpv camera in it as well um i got videos on this it's it's not pretty it's not pretty by any means but it's pretty dope dope little mod there but here so you're talking about you want to get rid of the buzzer it's really simple. This is the buzzer. Right by my finger. That round thing, that is your buzzer. You should be able to quite simply pop that up. I would think you'd be able to pop that up. I don't know why you want to disable that. But uh, if you wanted to, you could probably just pop that up. I like the battery mod I did per your guidance on the alarm. alarm. But the alarm starts really early and proceeds for most of the flight um sweet i actually have the issue i th this battery mod that one bamzo <laughs> with the jst connection on top of it and i'm sorry i should have had a light like i should have a light like blasting me um maybe you could see a little bit better that way with the light there but bamzo maybe i don't know I didn't really put much thought into this live feed. I just wanted to kind of go live because people have been asking me to do so. So I do apologize for the mild screw up on preparation, but you're getting quality video here as opposed to if a lot of you guys, um, what batteries did you use? I just did the same mod posting in drone days. I'm also getting an early LVC. I don't think I got an early LVC. Um, I, re I, I was using a 1200 milliamp an hour don't know where it is. I th I'm almost positive I was using a 1200 milliamp an hour in this. Um, JST connection. I'm trying to think of the battery. If you guys, if you search my YouTube, you'd definitely be able to check it out. I would be divorced if my hobby area and the garage looked like that. <laughs> um, let me read the next one. Jason, what's going on, brother? Just checking in. Watch uh, WWE Raw reunion with kids, brother. Going to fly. Jason! You're you're on uh, you're on my uh, Facebook. Um, I just won tickets to WWE in Times Square, and I'm probably not going. My brother has first dibs on him. If he doesn't want to go, maybe you want to go. 
Uh, just putting it out there. I'm not going to be looking for anything for him. It's just kind of trying to pass it on. I don't like driving in New York. <laughs> um, but anyway, back to Mark. No, um, my wife's pretty cool. She's pretty cool. Um, she would like the house a lot cleaner than what it is because I got a couple drones scattered throughout the house. I mean, the majority of my mess is in here. Um, but my garage, my garage, I have a classic car in, uh, my Grand Prix and, uh, that's got drone stuff in it. My shed has drone stuff in it. I'm, uh, I'm overwhelmed in drone stuff. Um, as much time calling what's going on. Um, <laughs> where was that? Mark, Mark, look at Colin's, uh, comment down there. Um, but no, I'm good. I'm definitely good with that. But yeah, so, so back to the beeper. This, this right here is your beeper, right below my fingernail, if you can see that. You probably can't see that. We'll put it over here. We shine, maybe. I don't know. Um, maybe I should go get something. Um, I'm going to go get something. I'm going to go get a light provision. That way, if I have to show you something, you're going to be able to see it. So I'm going to continue talking. You're not going to be able to see me. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, sale. There is a sale. Sale, sale, sale. Charles says sale. Um, Colin says, good man. Um, if you're on drone days on Facebook, just outside of this door, I have a stack of drones. They all have boxes. They're all almost brand new. Um, the majority of them, actually, I think all of them are brushed. Um, one of them is 5.8 gigahertz. I have a bunch of listings on drone days. Uh, I think the highest listing is $45 shipped to the lower 48. Um, I think the lowest listing might be like $32 shipped to the lower 48. Um, I'm really not trying to make anything on them. I mean, I'm probably going to make like $10, $15 on each drone because it costs like $10, $15, almost $20 if you ship all the way west or all the way down uh, Texas to New Mexico. Um, so I'm going to make like $10, $15 off of them. But I'm just trying to unclutter this. <laughs> I'm trying to unclutter this. So I'm going to get up. You're going to get a little peek at uh, see where the parrot is. You're gonna get a little peek at the the table where the parrot is. There's some uh, some brushless whoops there and whatnot. I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna get a light that way I can show you this beeper because somebody asked about it. And uh, Charles Henderson said sale. Charles Henderson is in Drone Exclusive, which is another group that's a one dollar paid membership group. We do giveaways there, dude. Pay for the membership, and I got something big going on. But anyway, look at look, look at my table there. I'll be right back. Um, it's going to take me two seconds to grab this. I'll continue talking. You might not be able to hear me talking because I'm in the next room. But if you can, great. If you can't, bear with me. I'm coming back. I wasn't going long. I have a light. That way I can show you guys uh, the little beeper on there. All right, I'm back. I'm back. Damn, so. Wow, latency. You don't want to fly FPV off of... Uh, you don't want to fly FPV off of this feed, so don't try to uh, live stream your FPV via live video and watch your computer and try to fly FPV. There's lag on my end. <laughs> um, what am I doing? Damn so. All right, so check it out. Watch this. Watch this. It said let there be light. Okay. So let's get that up there. All right, let's see. So see that round thing there with the hole in it? That's your beeper. Um, I help you out. Just load up one of those cool cars you got full of drones and I'll meet you in the middle. So your wife don't do it. I'm trying, but yeah, so that, that little round thing with the hole in it, wrong way, J drone reversed. Um, you ship one up to Canada that I won and drone exclusive sh hey, shipping was crazy, bro. Um, and Bamzo. So we got another person from drone exclusive van city. Um, but yeah, that little round thing is your, uh, that's your, whatchamacallit, that's your beeper. Just pull that out. You should be able to pluck that up. You should be able to get something underneath that and pluck it up. Then you don't got your beeper anymore. Um, but, uh, hmm, whoa. <laughs> I think my camera moved. I uh, don't want my camera to move. I kind of want that sitting there. And here, bam, that's what I'm using. Blinded by the light. We'll go ahead and turn that off. And then I can show you what I'm using. It has two lights on it. It's generally sticking on my refrigerator. It has magnets on it, too. It's a pretty cool little device. I haven't done a review on it. I don't think I plan on doing a review on it. But uh, um, B-Slides, anytime, man. That's what I'm here for. I am definitely here to help. Um, I want to make sure I'm concerned about my camera, which my camera is an iPhone. And I really don't want to be touching it because we kind of blinded and blacked out last time I was playing with this on the last feed that I tried to start. That beeper is loud. I'm pulling it tonight. Um, yeah, definitely. Like what I would suggest do is just get a flathead screwdriver because it's it's probably it's probably two pins, a positive and a negative pin 
that's hitting the board. You should be able to get a flathead screwdriver underneath that and just slowly pry up on it. And then once you have it pried up enough, confirm there's two pins underneath it. And then you could probably go up and grab up top and slowly pull it up and you should be good. Um, I've seen on uh, race drums, I, I have I have a race drum next to me. I don't know if this one has a beeper. Yeah, this one, here, look, same thing. E even, look, this is what I've been flying around to learn proximity flight. And again, let's get our light. Um, this is the Ghoul RC G80. Amzo, this is a cool drone, man. This, uh, I, I've been having a lot of fun with this drone here. Wrong way, everything's reversed on here. Um, brushless drone, 80 millimeter. This thing's small, but if you look on the back here, you can see, let's move that like that. Bam, so there's the beeper on it. It's the same exact thing. Um, we'll go ahead and turn the light off. It's the same exact thing. Uh, I mean, on race drones, but this, this was kind of one of the things that I had lined up to talk about was, uh, I'm learning how to fly proximity flying in acro. Um, I'm pretty good at flying acro in wide open spaces. I'm pretty good at flying uh, acro, just, dude, balls to the wall per se. Just go, go. Wide open area, even that acro area that I kind of fly. Uh, awesome drone room, I could never get away with that. <laughs> you are the second or third person that uh, said that. Um, and this is only a piece of it, man. This is only a piece of the madness. Again, if, you, uh, if you're if you on Facebook and you're not a part of Drone Days, I'm trying to get rid of some stuff dirt cheap. Um, and if you are on Drone Days, you've seen more of the madness. This is, you're only looking at, you're looking at two-thirds of that back wall, and you're looking at half of that wall. There's a whole nother wall over here. There's a full wall behind this camera. Um, there's a huge closet that I've ripped the door off of because having a door on it was keeping me from getting stuff in and out of it. So, uh, that's, uh, that's full too. And there's drones everywhere, man. It's a sickness. <laughs> it's a horrible sickness. Um, you get the camera replaced in the J drone. I did. I did. And that's another thing that I have sitting next to me. I have a video up. Uh, I think I posted it yesterday, but yeah, the Cadex. Um, if you guys don't know, cat, and we'll get the, we'll get the light back up, that way you can see it. Hopefully you guys can see that, I'm putting it right up there. So this drone, come on, let's, let's give a little shine on them, there we go. Um, this drone has two, two eyes. The reason this drone has two eyes on it is because the top one is your FPV, that's your 5.8 gigahertz, and the bottom one is recording in 4K if you want. It'll record in 1080p, 90 frames per second, 60 frames per second, 30 frames per second, or some ridiculous rate in 720. Uh, myself, I use, uh, I use, and this is the J drone. This drone is named after me and was built for me um, via what I had in my brain and Stan FPV hooked it up. He did an excellent job on this drone. Um, but yeah, so I, I, I got it replaced. I got a blue Cadex in there. There was a black Cadex in there. And uh, I still want to try to fix the other one because these are these are like right around hundred dollars a pop, and uh, to be replacing <laughs> Cadex cameras is not not ideally what I want to be doing. Um, but yeah, let, let's get back to uh, let's get back to this. So well, here let's let's pull this up. So here, th this is an acro drone, right? This I mean I can fly it in stab mode, but I actually have stab mode deleted from the modes that I can go into. I can't even go into it by its switch unless I go into beta flight and add it again. Um, but acro strictly or no, the other one, this one, I still have it on that one. This is strictly acro, but besides the point, I can fly this in wide open areas, go around, do barrel rolls, do back flips and whatnot. And I'm good. I'm good. I can fly this really well in acro. Um, I thought I wanted a spark. Now, nah, dude. Yes, 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 yes. Night guys, Mr. Night guys, Mrs. and Doug want to go to bed. Colin, tell the missus I say hello, and hopefully y'all have a good night. And give your dog a pet for me, and hopefully he has a good night too. Um, but uh, hmm, lost train of thought. Anyway, good night. <laughs> it's all good. But um, yeah, I mean, so the spark's cool. Dude, I took the spark with me. Where'd I just go? I just went on vacation to the Poconos. I took the spark with me three batteries charged and I own two sparks there's a spark on that back table it's back there it's in a case it's in a stock case um with remote control so I have two sparks with two remote controllers um 
and the spark is my go-to uh, peace out jay uh, van city i appreciate you getting in here 5 30 on the west coast just leaving for work i'll check in, in a little bit it might still be live sparks cool the spark is cool spark is a great drone um get you one maybe let's talk about that let's talk about what he had said um what did he say jason combs said i thought i want a spark now i want a j drone there's there's some good thought process that went into that thought i'm sure that wasn't just blurted out of his mouth um so here, here's the thing if you're gonna get a spark like oh, well let me get back to my trip so i, I took my spark my sparks my go-to travel to drone um and i took it with me as well as a bunch of other like little mini whoops and fpv stuff i didn't fly my spark it's still in the back of my truck or my car my suv crossover whatever it is um i didn't fly it and i find myself more and more not flying my spark i like my spark it's my go-to camera drone um i have a xeno i brought the xeno with me too i didn't fly the xeno um if you can get one sold out on dji I got two of them um i didn't know they were sold out um i think my local walmart is still selling sparks too check your local walmart um they might still be selling sparks but uh yeah so i mean i didn't uh j drone is live what's going on mister 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 um but yeah so i didn't fly it, it it's it's it is what it is. To me, it's, I mean, you could put it in sport mode and you could buzz around with it, but when you have stuff like this or even pull stuff out of a shelf, even something like this, this is a brush drone that I got an FPV camera in it. I have more fun <laughs> flying this than I do than the Spark. How is that possible? You, you like I, I paid seven hundred dollars for my first spark. Um, my second one I got a deal on marketplace. This is high markup, maybe seventy dollars. And I mean small AO, add another twenty dollars to it. How am I having more fun flying this than the spark? It is what it is. Um, the spark for me. What's up from Boston? Boston in the house. I want to get to Boston at some point. A huge Celtics fan. My father was a huge Larry Bird fan. I was a Larry Bird fan. Love Boston. Uh, new to the hobby and learned so much from you. Thanks. Uh, Bamzo. Sean, happy to have you here. That's what I do. I'm happy to have... Th All right, here. This is what I do on this channel. I, I try to entertain. Try to make it a little bit entertaining. Um, I try to make it uh, a little bit interactive like we're doing right now but above all if i can teach or help somebody that's i absolutely love doing it um need me to come over and drone clutter um no this is it, it well here let's get back to this and then we'll get get back to drone clutter and i do appreciate everybody typing it helps best video for setting up drones out there best videos for bams oh mine are the best videos i appreciate that um a lot of times i don't go over button configuration like hardcore i try to get the drone in the air within the first two one to two minutes and show you how the drone flies and then maybe go over button configuration um i know there's a lot of guys that'll spend five to ten minutes <laughs> jabbering your ear off going over button for configuration and uh that's cool it's informative just not my style so this is more fun to fly to me than the spark the spark is what it is and what is the spark the spark is an excellent camera drone it's an excellent two axis gps camera drone but unless you're going somewhere to shoot you're probably not going to fly it thanks for letting me know that i'm not a hoarder well at least comparatively speaking yes comparatively speaking um even if what you can see behind me makes you not a hoarder you are definitely not a hoarder then because again as i explained you can see a third three-fourths of that wall and you can see about half of that wall and you can't see the rest of this room <laughs> you can't see the rest of this room so um if you have less than what's behind me you are definitely not a hoarder um but yeah so i mean and this is a shark spark something wasp might be a wasp um and this is fun this is so much fun to fly even though this is an acro um but uh so so we were we were going somewhere boston need me to come over to declutter we'll talk about that do you like the bugs 4w i don't have the bugs 4w um declutter then bugs 4w i've seen the rest of the room before <laughs> it's gotten worse um so declutter no what i really need to do i don't need somebody to come over here declutter i need local people and i promise you i'm not i'm not just talking 
I got Family A3 and haven't flown it yet. It's a step up from a toy GPS. Yes, it is. The A3 is a good, it's a good brushless camera drone. Um, but what I really need is local people to connect with me that need birthday presents or that want toy grades that they can fly. Um, and, and the reason I'm saying toy grades is because I have so much stuff that I can get rid of new in boxes, flown once. That, I, that I'm more than happy to get rid of for like next to nothing. Like, give me $20, give me $30. And the issue that I have in getting rid of stuff is because if I go to ship it, then I'm essentially getting five or $10 for something that I'm gonna charge for $30 because of shipping. Um, I need local people to help me declutter. Throw me $20 there and there. Um, that's what I need, man. All right, so we did the clutter. We are going back. Bugs 4W. I don't have the Bugs 4W. I've seen the Bugs 4W. I absolutely love MJX's lineup. The camera on that drone seems to be garbage to me. I'm going to tell you how it is. Just like uh, there's another MJX drone coming out. There's another MJX drone coming out. What is it called? Uh, maybe the 3 and one or something? The I don't know what it's called. Let's see. Let's see here. Um... Fami 3-in-1 or something? What is it? Let's see. Fam me 3-1 MJX. Or Hammy or Hymie or something. Fami, no, that's not it. Alright, I'm going to type in MJX 3-in-1. Or maybe it's 4-in-1. Um, MJX 3-in-1. I'm not seeing it. Jack Chrome. I'm throwing out a name there. Jack Chrome just did a review on it. And uh, garbage, man. Garbage. The flyability on it was all right. But um, the camera's garbage, man. Uh, make up some mystery boxes of drones and just say. Um, I thought about doing that today before I posted a lot of stuff. I thought about um, like making a post on drone days um whatever's in the box a hundred dollars yes the the four four and one four and one did i say three and one four and one yeah there we go dead guy says four and one i think that's what it's called four dash one mjx i switched my page here again four and one there it is that's no four w mm. there it is novo drone new four novo drone the mjx rc i think that's what it is that's the novo drone the mjx or something but uh it looks cool it's an anafi clone and i seen the camera and the camera's junk like the camera is nothing to brag about dude i love mjx um if you can see what you can't you can see the bottom part of that that's that's mjx right there this whole shelf is almost all mjx drones on this bottom shelf there's a couple mjx drones i like mjx i'm not gonna lie um robert thank you for saying good show um prepping for a move jay you've talked about it before i have talked about it before but i don't think i don't think so i think i'm we're just going to continue traveling um my issue is um i have a lot of stuff <laughs> i have a lot of stuff but um all my family's here all my wife's family's here um and i have a lot of stuff i have i have five cars i think i have five cars two two 1981 cadillac coupe de ville 1981 sedan de ville uh, 96 Grand Prix SE with heads up display, all leather, blah, blah, blah. Pretty limited, uh, Grand Prix. Um, uh, Impala and a Kia. And my wife doesn't drive. <laughs> um, and again, Robert, thank you for saying great show. Uh, please smash that thumbs up button as you get in here. If you like the show, um, if you don't like the show, but you like my crazy hair, do me a favor, smash that thumbs up button anyway. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. All right. So back to the comment, we've, we've diverted heavily. And if you're new to the channel, you'll see that. Um, I'll start talking about something, you guys will comment, and instead of being like every other, and I'm not saying every, but instead of being like the majority of the people that go live who everything is scripted or they have a bulletin board here, hard to leave family well unless they're jerks, which in your case, I believe. No, my family's pretty good. They're not jerks. They can be jerks, um, but they're, for the most part, not jerks. My brother's really cool. That's who walks, watches my dogs when I go away. See, we've diverted away from what I was going to talk about again. <laughs> but, um, we're, we're, so, di diverting. 
a lot of YouTubers who go live won't divert. A lot of YouTubers who go live have a set bulletin board. And as I started this feed, I had no set thing going on. I kind of wanted to go live because somebody, a couple people had said you had been gone live in a while and I figured I'd do it. Um, I'm more than happy to interact with you guys. It's YouTube. Y-O-U-T-U-B-E. The first part of that word is you. So for me to sit here and ignore, <laughs> um, for me to sit here and ignore the comments that are going on here, I find that to be rude. I find, um, I find YouTubers that go live that do ignore your comments, that ignore my comments because I watch some of them, um, extremely rude. Why are you watching then? If you if you can't interact with a live video, and even people that post videos that you write comments and they don't answer back, I, I don't know. I find it a little bit rude. Diverting or not, it's nice to hear from you, Jay, personally. Personality is some of the realest. Uh, bam! Personality. And uh, this is not This is unscripted personality. Like, when I walk out of here, I, do, I don't turn into, Hi, honey. Do you want to go bake me an apple pie? I'm going to go take a bath. After I get done taking a bath, I'll take the dog. No, this is me. <laughs> um, they, I mean... They, it, there's there's a lot of people on the internet who have met me um, just through my travels and also people who have been where I've been that I'd be more than happy to divert to them. So I, I'm happy that some of you, hopefully all of you, but some of you find my personality a little bit refreshing um, or maybe a little bit obnoxious that you find it entertaining. <laughs> um, number one thing successful YouTubers, a, a bam, 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 and I'm not, uh, <laughs> excuse my uh, phantom guns here, but um, you, you nailed that, L love, love my drones did not say that, <laughs> August Lyon said that, you nailed it, everybody go read what August said, um, for me the chat drives live, I would run out of stuff to say if not for the chat, um, it would. I mean, I've had a couple live ones where there wasn't much interaction and I just talked and I talked and I talked and I talked. And what helps me just talk and talk and talk if there's not a lot of interaction going on is having stuff around me where like right now I have so much stuff around me. I can just pick up stuff, show it to you, talk about it, pick up stuff, show it to you, talk. But I'd rather do this. Um, I would absolutely rather have the interaction. Um, so now, hmm, we've diverted really hardcore here. Um, Pamzo, I want a J drone instead of a spark. If I had to start over, thanks for your fun filled videos. I am a recent new subscriber, never disappointed. Please keep up the positive energy. Mark, I don't know your name, brother. I mean, clearly I know your name because I see your name, Mark Linder. Um, and I do recognize not your name from commenting because you have been commenting on the videos and I definitely appreciate that. Um, but your little icon. I, I recognize your icon. I tend to recognize people's icons more than I do their names. Um, I'm a visual learner. <laughs> so uh, if, if you come on the live feed or if uh, I see you, I don't know. And it seems like I don't recognize you. Maybe you've changed your icon. I don't know. Um, as always, Jay, thanks for keeping it real. It's time for me to fly. Fly on, brother. It poured today. Um, everyone check out Drone Exclusive, Jay Drone. And again, Drone Exclusive is a one dollar four quarters membership it's not one dollar and four quarters that'd be two dollars but it's uh it's a one dollar membership it's one dollar membership instead of me doing patreon like there's a lot of youtubers that do patreon pay me monthly give me a twenty dollar monthly and i'll give you extra stuff to see no what i got i'm showing <laughs> what i got i'm posting here i'm constantly posting here um i'm posting on drone days i'm posting on drone exclusive um, basically what drone exclusive is, is a thank you to me as a creator worldwide. If you follow me on Instagram, it's hit or miss on there. I get on there in spurts. Um, if you follow me on YouTube, if you follow me on Facebook, if you follow me on Reddit, I'm on Reddit. Reddit's pretty dope. Um, it, it's a $1 a month. Thank you to me. And in return, I do giveaways and I have something big, big plan for drone exclusive. Um, Mark Leonard drone days is my roots brother. The first drone page I ever joined. Bamzo. Um, drone days is where it's at. Absolutely. What's your biggest drone? What's the monster over your left shoulder? That's the, this here. Let's see if I can point to it. Let's see if I'm pointing to it. No, let's see. Maybe go that way. There. Let's go up. Up. Hold on. We'll get to it. That one. 
Are you talking about that one? Because if you're talking about that one, that's my biggest drum. <laughs> is it this one? Are you talking about this one or are you talking about something on the wall? White one. So you're talking about that one. Over. That one. Talking about that one? I think I'm on it, and I think there's a lag, so uh, I'll wait for you to say yes or no. I'm going to kind of curve my finger up. <laughs> One of them, LOL. Here, I think I, I kind of have walking room over there. I'll go over there. So we've diverted from this, and we've diverted from the comment, um, I want a spark, or I don't want a spark, and I want a J drone. And I, if I had to do it again, if I had to do it again, and I had two drones on the tables that I could pay for, this would be it. And I'm going to tell you why that'll be it once we uh, entertain uh, August. Is that how I say your name, August? Hopefully I'm saying your name right. Um, audio breaking up. Hopefully audio's not breaking up. Um, is audio better? Is audio better? Hopefully the audio is better. Audio better. Um, it's back. Okay, I don't know what that was about. Um, boom, boom, boom. I love what you have in your hand. That is the J drone. That's my drone. It's named after me. It's available for purchase. Um, but you definitely have to get at Stan FPV. He has a YouTube. I did a video on that. I linked his YouTube. I linked his Facebook. He's a good dude, and he's a part of what's going to happen in drone exclusive. And I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about that once I sit back down. But let me go ahead and just make a little room here so I can hop over there. The the whole ground, like I'm tiptoeing, the whole ground is covered in drones. <laughs> it's a little bit ridiculous. But um, here, this is not my biggest drone. But this is uh, this is the Cherison Super Phantom. Um, it's a pretty cool drone. The camera on is 5.8 gigahertz. Uh, it comes with a controller which is where's the controller hmm. that controller should be sitting out i don't see the controller i'm really good with controllers and i don't see it unless it's hidden under something um it comes with uh, a fpv screen built in to the controller it's pretty dope and i don't know why i don't see it it's a white controller that's a bang toys x16's controller um i don't see it it should have been like right here but here i can show you kind of what it's like i can show you kind of what it's like um, I'm missing comments here. I do apologize. Let me go ahead and get this back up here. Get this back up here. And I can kind of show you what it's like. So, the controller is much like this controller. Where you have 5.8 gigahertz. Bam! Right there. And that's a non-GPS drone, too. Uh, that's a pretty neat drone. Um, Cheerson. Cheerson was on top of their game for a while. But let me... Woo! Y'all almost seen J-Drone fall. <laughs> Um, let me go ahead and put this over here. Alright, I'm coming. I'm coming back. I'm coming back to look at some comments, and then we'll talk about the J-Drone. Um, where can I find durable bugs? Three blades. Hmm, I don't know. Um, uh, yes, this is just a little bit ridiculous. Gearbox, gearbox, gearbox are, oh, I can't talk now. Love my drones, sent five dollars. So, I'm showing you ten minus five. He sent five dollars. I appreciate that, brother. Absolutely do appreciate that. Anybody who sends even 25 cents on this feed, I definitely appreciate it. And if one, if one of you 14 people are a millionaire or a or a billionaire, and you want to send the J Drone show a million dollars, I promise you I will turn all that money and dedicate it to this channel and we will be doing crazy things. Is that gonna happen? That's probably not gonna happen. There's probably not a millionaire watching me. But if you don't ask, right? <laughs> um, so here, the J drone. Let's 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 get to the J drone. Um, so again, I would rather have a J drone than a spark. Okay. So what they're talking about, and let's get my light out. Did I lose my light? I didn't lose my light. How did I lose my light? There. I didn't lose my light. There we go. Bam. So there it is. I would rather. Exactly, because if that millionaire or that billionaire was out there, and y'all just seen, uh, lol, squeaky, squeaky wheels gets the grease, right? Um, <laughs> if you seen in super chat one million dollars, dude, I might, I, I don't know what I do. I don't know what I do. I'd probably geek out. Like I probably geek out hardcore. But I promise. Here, let's let's sidetrack. Um, 
<laughs> if you guys seen in super chat, like you probably, I don't know if you can see love my drones five dollars. I would assume you can. Um, but if you've seen like a million dollars come on, it's come across the screen, dude. I don't know what I'd do, but I, I, I would tell you, um, and I'm a very, I'm a very, I don't know what the word is. I'm a very loud person, not loud vocally, but like when I go out, um, I'm very personable with people. I'm not the ant that walks in the line. I kind of make my own strides per se, and I kind of stand out a little bit. Um, but when it comes to money, I think, I think I'd stay here. I think I, I, I think I'd stay in my home on my land. Um, but we would definitely have a pole building, a massive pole building put up in like one of the corner of my lots. And, uh, we would, we would have the J drone show, um, quit drones and move to Bahamas. Absolutely not. No. And especially, and I'll tell you why. Um, but yeah, we would, we would have a J drone studio. We, we would have a massive J drone studio. So here, here's why I wouldn't do that. Would I vacation to the Bahamas? Maybe on a little bit of the money and make sure that I cataloged it. Make sure I did, uh, make sure I did hotel reviews and vacation reviews and drone flyovers. Absolutely. Would I take a month out of with that money? Absolutely. But I wouldn't just up and root because again, the whole family thing, and I wouldn't want to exploit the money per se because the money came from YouTube. So in right, I should be putting the money that I'm getting from YouTube back into you because yous are supporting me and therefore I should constantly keep entertaining you and not just quit doing this. Um, what well, obviously you want to know. First of all, I would love to fly a bird. Absolutely. Um, what well, I just wanted to entertain that. I wanted to entertain that and tell you where I would be at um, as far as that went. But uh, all right, back to the J drone for the hundredth time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I would, and we're we're gonna we're gonna re say the quote about a million more times until I, I get sidetracked again. Um, I would rather have a J drone, um, the J drone. That's what this drone's called, the J drone, um, over a spark. And again, if I had to do it all over, I think I would. Bam, bam. we're we're gonna give you a look at the drone. I'm gonna have some light on it. I'm gonna kind of do like a little turny, turny, a little turny about. Give you a little look at it. That camera and this build is where it's at. This thing runs 2S, it runs 3S, it's pretty durable. I smacked it so hard that I busted up one of the cameras, a $100 camera that's on it. And uh, it's a dope build. Um, Stan FPV, definitely get him at him on Facebook or go over to his YouTube, tell him J Drone sent me, you made a dope drone. Um, my dream is to win the lottery and buy a big piece of property and call it the asylum drone zone dude if you win the lottery you need to invite me over i don't want no money you don't gotta send me no money or nothing um just invite me over invite me over to this crazy drone asylum man i definitely want to come to that like like you just said about it i already have it envisioned i'm again i'm a very visual learner i'm very visual um you said you said about it and dude i already built i had I, I got the blueprints <laughs> you win the lottery hire me man freaking i'll draw it out you're good um <laughs> but uh yeah man so why why this over the spark this doesn't have gps um what doesn't it else have compared to the spark it doesn't have a gimbal it doesn't have a gimbal. If you watch my last video, you might think it kind of had a gimbal. Um, but because of that camera, because of the camera on this, we'll try to put it over there. Because of the camera on this that you can't see because I have poor lighting. That's why I have a light in my hands. Um, that should do it. Turn it that way, maybe. Wrong way. Everything's opposite. Um, altitude hold. No altitude hold. No optical flow. It doesn't got none of that. This camera, though. This camera, we'll try to get like all up in there. We're close. We're getting close now. It focused on it. Look at that camera work. Look at the camera work. It focused right on the drone. Um, so this camera, I don't think so. Uh, I'll go. No, it has none of that. So we're going to put it down. You guys got a good look at it. Um, why over the Spark? You're going to have a lot more fun with this over the Spark. Because again, as I said, I've been taking a Spark with me on vacations. I haven't been flying it. It hasn't been fun for me. Um, what the Spark is to me is like what this is. I'm using an iPhone SE. It's an outdated iPhone. Um, fam's up. Right? I have another iPhone. I have an iPhone 6. Um, as a backup iPhone, that looks like fully acro capable bird. It is a fully acro capable bird. But if you don't know acro and you're looking for a camera bird, 
you can put this in stab mode and buzz around, man. Um, and that's 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 where that's where the draw is. That I think that's where the draw is to the J drone. Like if this thing ever catches on and people start buying this or, or uh, they start getting a hold of Stan FPB, I want the J drone. I don't care what it costs. Make me the J drone. I think one person has asked for it to be made. He's actually making one for himself because he test flown this before he sent it to me. Um, the draw would be the flyability, the versatility of this and the camera. So my last video, I think I posted it yesterday. I did uh, I did some open air flying, acro flying with this, a little bit of trail running with this. And uh, this has electric image stabilization. It's not like the Bebop where if you turn it all around, you're not gonna notice that it turned all the way around. Um, who sells the J-Drone? Um, see, I don't know how I can show you. I don't know, let's see if that iPhone, here. Let's see if this phone has uh, has power on it. It don't have no power. <laughs> uh, here, I got you. I, I got a computer right next to me. Um, but the Caddx has electric Im image stabilization. So say you go for a barrel, and you slop it up just a little bit and then recover. Normally you would get a jerk in your video. You're not gonna get it with this. It's going to be smooth and it's gonna look like you meant to do that. That's why that video from yesterday is so smooth. That's the first time I turn on that electric image stabilization. Um, it is not Joe Stan. It is not Joe Stan. I got you guys. Um, give me two seconds. I'll throw, I'll throw, and then he's gonna appreciate this thoroughly. If you guys make it to his YouTube, if you guys make it to his Facebook, um, just uh, tell him J Drone sent you. Tell him J Drone sent you. I would appreciate it. Um, I'm, I'm paying for these drones. Like this drone. I paid, I, it wasn't cheap. <laughs> yes, I will put the link. This drone was not cheap. If you if you go to get it done, it's not gonna be cheap. But for what it is, it's cheap, but it's not cheap. If you can understand what I'm saying. Um, just like, here, hold on. Right here, right behind me. This, this bad boy right here. Look at this bad boy here, we'll take the battery off. Get the battery off of there, hold on. This was my first build that I got from him. This was not a super custom build. It was mildly custom as far as colors go. But this holds a GoPro. This holds Amsel. Like I said, I got everything around me. This holds a Hero 7 black. And we don't have any lights. Um, where did the light go? Where did the light go? I don't know where the light went. Where did the light go? Yo, this light just up and disappeared. Um, that's ridiculous. There it is. It's black. So it's kind of like blending into controllers. Um... No, the fly time's pretty good. Fly time's pretty good, my brother. On this, the fly time is pretty good. Um, and that's one thing why that's the one you flew off the roof. Yes, that's that's the fly time's actually pretty good to be surprised. You'd be very surprised what, like, wow, that's going to get like a minute or two to three, four minute flight time. It got way better, man. Um, and that's kind of why I stuck with Stan FPV. That's a Stan FPV build. Um, and again, we're getting dope video quality, but... So the whole reason about the J-Drone, I want something lighter. I want something that would fly for a longer duration of time. I wanted something a little bit more agile, per se, and uh, kind, of, uh, kind of where I didn't have to go grab a bunch of things. With this, I have to clearly grab the controller. I got to grab the battery, and then I got to get this on there. I got to get it strapped on there. And I would rather just grab my drone battery and controller and go and not have to worry about this and this because that's typically what we've done um, with larger drones. We've strapped this to it to get quality. That, the J drone, is getting quality without strapping this to it. Um, here, I'll get you the link. I apologize, kind of diverted. I just want to kind of show off one of it. And again, that drone, I paid for it. I paid for it. It wasn't, he's, he's not giving me, um, does J drone drone compare it to the Spark price-wise? Um... You have to talk to him about it. You really have to talk to him about it. Um, because me, what I, it depends, where are we ta talking about on price? The Sparks, you can get them for like around 300 My first Spark, I paid around $700. Um, average MSRP right now is probably around four something. I, where are we talking about on price? Um, hello, yeah, a lot to do when hosting live. Um, yes, a lot to do, which which I like. I'm scatterbrained. I'm good with it. But here, I'm going to go grab it. Jason, answer my question, um, please. And holy 21 notifications on my Facebook. Oh, no. <laughs> no.
No, that's terrible. I forgot about that. I dude, I got all these uh, all these drone listings on there. People are probably saying I want it. I'll buy it. Um, hopefully not. Hopefully not. I'm just looking over this, looking to see if people commented on the drone listings, drone exclusives. Um, no, I think we're good. I think we got a bunch of thumbs up and not a lot of interest in the drones. So here, let me get his Facebook for you guys. Um, my homeboy Stan, Stan. Uh, FPV, and I'm not giving you a direct link to his profile just because I don't know if he wants that type of exposure. He has a Stan FPV, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and give you. Um, that's what I'm going to give you right now. I'm copying. I'm going back over to the live feed. Um, and okay, a lot to do when hosting live. Jason, you still didn't answer my question. What type of price range are you thinking the Spark's in, or are you referring to the Spark to being in? Then I can finish answering your question, and I can also kind of elaborate on what I got going on here versus maybe you want to do a little bit different. Um, but here, right here, Banzo. That right there is Stan FPV on Facebook. Let me go ahead and get you his YouTube. Um, bam, 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 bam. I got his YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and copy that URL. And again, if you make it to his Facebook, you make it to his YouTube, do me a favor. J Drone sent me. That'd be dope. That'd be really dope. Um, here's the YouTube. Bam, so. And what I'm doing for him, like if Perth West Oz comes, Oz comes in, uh, he's a friend from Australia that flies drones. I like to try to help other YouTubers out. Um, I don't by any means think of myself the top YouTuber ever. No, but not by any means. I don't have the numbers to do that. I have, I have grown considerably compared to a lot of other YouTubers who started before me. But uh, it, even people that are above me, somebody like JP Videos, if he comes in here, I'm going to throw his name at you. Um, 400-ish. Um, yeah, it's a little bit more. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit more. Um, and the reason being, your, your front component here, um, your front component is almost a $100 camera. That right there is almost a hundred dollar camera. This, this, what holds that component, you can't buy. That's a custom 3D printed mount that he made that he thought of. There was no blueprint for it. Um, no, you can fly and watch. Absolutely. Fly, fly. I, I couldn't fly today, man. I couldn't fly today just because, um, dude, it poured, it poured buckets, like super buckets. Also, I got dope motors on this. Um, I got a knife frame. And again, so, this was built for long range. Like here, check it out. Um, again, this is kind of like a hybrid of what this um, has to be pricey. Surprised, only a hundred bucks. Um, a lot of websites are selling it for like a hundred and twenty something. Um, hundred and twenty something. I think you could get it as cheap as like eighty something. It fluctuates. I got this one to replace it. Two day shipping, Amazon Prime. I think I paid one hundred and thirty dollars because I wanted it quickly. But uh, so so. This right here, I got dope range with it, but on the turnaround, on the turnaround, I would lose my FPV. It, it would get pretty sketchy. Where's the FPV there? Okay, so the FPV antenna on this is, I'm trying to move right there. Can you see that? Right above my finger, I'm watching myself on the screen. You can't see that. Let's get the light. Let's get the light. So it says 5.8 on it. You should be able to see that now. Right, see that little nub on top? It says 5.8, I'm getting closer, I'm getting closer, I'm getting closer. Um, that thing, oh, we went too far, now we're up. There we go. That little thing right there that says 5.8 is the antenna. And as you can see, it sticks to the body because this is essentially made to be like a big whoop that carries a GoPro on it. Um, so I was, I was getting dope reception, FPV reception out, but when I was turning around facing myself, this little nub of an antenna wasn't giving much back. I saw that video definitely got sketchy on a return flight. Right, exactly. Right. See, people are watching my videos. I appreciate you. Um, but this, that's my antenna. Here, I, we don't need any light for that probably. I got delay over here. Um, yeah, that's my antenna. I'm getting good quality out and back. The, the, again, this, this was something that I collaborated with him and I told him my once. That's why this is the J-Drone. 
This drone could have went any which way. This drone could have had a normal antenna on it. This drone could have had a normal run run cam on it. Um, it could have had a, it could have had a split on it. What keeps it uh, from getting out of range and sketchy reception? Um, it, it, it's all the VTX. So we have our camera right here, up here. I'll try to hold it maybe like back here because again, we're dealing with light issues um, and I'm waiting on delay. Um, we're getting the light. I, dude, I'm so sorry about this. <laughs> we got the light. So your camera's in front. So I'll give you a little, for anybody that doesn't know FPV and how it works, your camera is in front. Wires go to your camera from behind. If you could see that brass nub right there that connects to the antenna, behind that, is my transmitter that transmits the the signal okay um he had stubby on it before when he turned around the bird yeah, exactly um what keeps it from getting out of range okay so this is what keeps it from getting out of range your antenna and your transmitter if you're only working with the 25 milliwatt that's the power that it's kicking you're not going to have great transmission but even on even on this one with the little nubby this one with the little nubby, I think this is kicking around maybe 400 milliwatts with the little stubby on it. I was getting great reception out, excellent reception, but it's kind of directional where when I turned around, well, I kind of got a GoPro blocking it or, or just the drone itself blocking it. And even though we're working with 200 milliwatts, the antenna had a big point to play with this. Um, the transmitter on here goes up to 600 milliwatts. I think I have it at like 400 milliwatts. Um, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's where it's at. And because when I'm flying away from myself, clearly we're going to get great reception because our antenna is facing me and my goggles are on my face and my antennas are in direct line of sight with it. And as I turn around, guess what? My antenna is still in direct line of sight with me. Um, so I get pretty good reception with that. Uh, I was getting, it, I did do a run with it and it was a little bit sketchy. I think I need to have it up just a little bit higher, maybe like that instead of like a scorpion tail, how it just was bowed. I think straight up would be a little bit better. That way it's standing up a little bit higher because the battery that we put on it stands up probably like that and kind of deterred that from being direct line of sight, but it was still good footage. Um, this was built for long flight times. This was built for great video, great onboard video. Um, this was built for performance. This was everything that I could think of that I wanted in a drone. Bam, right there. So that that's that's kind of where the high price comes into. I didn't want junk motors. You, I, not even to say junk motors. I didn't want average motors. <laughs> I, I wanted I wanted I wanted a lot to go into this because again it was what I had thought. And bam, so he did perfect on it. He did perfect on it. Um, so hopefully that answers your questions on that. I need to take a sip of my tea. Again, if you just checked in, do you guys have tea? Do you guys have iced tea um, from like a dairy? This is from a dairy. Uh, or are you down south and are you strictly sweet tea? Uh, myself, I can't stand sweet tea. Um, I don't like it. I don't like the taste of it. Uh, best if the antenna. Yes. I love my drone makes a very valid point. Uh, I believe it's R RCHP. Let's see. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to cheat. I can't see. Yes. RHCP, excuse me. Um, RHCP versus left direction, which I don't know if that's LHCP or if they change it somehow. Um, all my stuff is RHCP. All my antennas, all my goggles are RHCP. That way they match. Um, can you fly with ones that don't match? You can, but like Love My Drone said, it is best that you have antennas that match. Um, and basically what that is, is the direction, like if you were to pop this open, or I don't know about this, if you were to pop, here, I'll grab something, hold on, I'm going to grab something, I got tons of stuff around me, I can entertain everybody's questions, and kind of give you a better knowledge about stuff. 15 people in here, I want to know if y'all got tea, um, hold on. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I didn't go for it. You probably, bam, you can see me through the window. You can see that I didn't leave. So, you got a mushroom antenna like this. If you were to pop this open, the coils, drinking a beer myself. I haven't drank beer in forever, man. I was great at drinking beer. <laughs> I 
That's why I don't drink beer anymore. Um, but um, if you were to pop this open, which I, I don't know if I have the one that's popped open. I did pop one open this when I was like really new to FTV. Um, it might be right there. Nope, it's not. That's just another one of them. Um, got parts and lipos and everything all over the place. I do love sweet tea. Yeah. I don't love sweet tea. I would rather drink ice cold unsweetened tea, like homebrewed tea, um, over some sweet tea. But uh, turkey, bam, Jason Combs, Turkey Hill. Turkey Hill tea. That's what's up. Um, so if you were to pop this open, these the, the, the coils in here, which I don't know. See, I, I'm distracting myself by talking about stuff, trying to give you visual. I can grab something. Hold on. I'll be right back. Please hold. Boop. Uh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. All right. So if you were to pop this open, it would very much look like this. From the south, they are all about sweet tea. If you can see this, can you see that? You can see that. You definitely can see that. Um, it would look very much like this inside here and if i don't know what you want to call this if the antennas are curving to the right um there we go <laughs> the love my drones know exactly what i was talking about um if they're curving to the right that dictates that it's rhcp if they're curving to the left it would be opposite of that and it's good to have your antennas on your goggles match that uh, i don't think i have any goggles in here which is crazy because i have lots of goggles um, I don't even know where my box goggles are, but anyway, so essentially you want, you want them to match. It's better to have matching antennas because you get better reception. Let's talk about this camera. Um, so this camera is a little bit bigger than an AIO. We'll get the light. Bam, bam. A little bit bigger than an AIO. See that? But it has a main difference to it. What? Birdman? What? I missed you. I missed you, brother. I didn't see you come in. If you can see there, it has an SD card. This is an all-in-one camera with an SD card. You just hook a battery to this, strap it on whatever you want, and SD card. DVR. All-in-one. Uh, I think it's an Isheen. I'm not sure which one it is, but uh, it's pretty dope. What's up? And Todd's here. Todd Montgomery's here. We got heavy hitters in the house. Heavy hitters in the house. So this is pretty cool. I've only used it a couple times uh, just because it is, it is a little bit bigger than an AIO, but to have an SD card be able to pop in this and stick it on something, and it's it's a lot less weight than a, uh, a uh, Q6 or something, which if you don't know nothing about a Q6, fire. Ah! Dropping stuff. I don't know if there's a Q6 in here. No, it's empty. I wanted to show you a Q6. Um, <laughs> I knew the box was there. But uh, Firefly Q6, these, these things are dope. These things are dope. Um, maybe like $50, $60 cameras can shoot in 4K, I believe. Uh, yes, 4K. 4K can shoot in 4K. 20, to 20 frames per second. That's terrible. <laughs> or maybe that's good in 4K world. I don't shoot in 4K. I generally shoot everything in 1080p. Um, preferably 60 frames per second. Love 60 frames per second versus 30 frames per second. Um, on the four and one multi protocol arming of the bugs, I got the bugs bound. How do you start the motors? Is it down? No, it is not down and out. It is not down and out. We could learn you something if I could get a battery. Because guess what? On this wall right here, I got jumpers. What jumper do you have? On the four and wall multi protocol arming bugs, I got bound. How do you start the motors? Um, oh, maybe, maybe you're playing with, uh, with a T12 or a, uh, Jumper T16. Um, hmm. And I don't have those on that wall. I only have my jumpers on that wall because I use my T12 for my sim on the computer. Um, and my T16, I like to have sitting flat, uh, just cause it's a larger one. Um, let me know, let me know if it's T8SG Tyrannus. <clears throat> All right. Stay with me. I will go, uh, I will go, I think, I think I have it. I think, 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 think. I do have it. I'm going to go get my T12 because that's OpenTX. I have it on OpenTX. I never upgraded it to Jumper TX. Um, I'm going to go grab my T12. I'm going to show you what channel you need to set. That way uh, you can arm it. It's not down and out. It's not down and in or in. You actually need to set a channel. Give me two seconds. 
I'll be right back. I gotta go two rooms over. Going two rooms over, you're definitely not gonna be able to hear me. Coming back, I'm coming back. Coming back, here I come. You'll probably see me through the window right now. Hey, look through the window, can you see me? Hi guys. Um, all right, we're back. We are back. All right, so I got a T12. I'm going to put it up here. I'm going to turn it on here. And is that the light? Light, where did the light go? Light, 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 light. We lost it this time. It's gone forever. No, really. No, there it is. Bamzo. Is that what you have on the back of your Tyrannus? Focus. Yes. Okay, cool. So this is going to be very easy. Very easy to show you. I'm going to go ahead and turn this around. And if you guys don't know, if you don't know, now you do. These are jumpers. This is a T12. This is a T8SG. This runs off deviation, which I find easier to use. But I'm pretty fluent in OpenTX now. This runs on OpenTX. So if you have a Q6 or uh, not a Q6, a uh, Tyrannus, if you have a Tyrannus and you want to put a module on, this is going to be for you if you've updated the protocol in it. So let's go ahead and turn this on. We're going to do it on camera. Hopefully I'll be able to see. Did it turn on? There we go. Open TX. Hopefully that showed. And we didn't skip it. Yep, Open TX. There we go, QX7, yes. And if this is boring and we got a switch warning, so we just kind of hit out of that. Okay, um, I'm going to go in here and as you see, I have it set up for Freerider FPV. If you could see that, that's, uh, I'm actually running a different, um, I'm running free flight or lift off. I'm running lift off, but the Freerider, free FPV works on that. So I'm going to go into here and if you can see here, I have MGX bugs. Just to show you, focus. There we go, MGX bugs, we're gonna go on that. And we're going to hit enter, select model, um, switch warning, fail safe not set. And we are now in that. So I'm then going to go back. Again, I'm not fluent with OpenTX, um, I can, work through it I guess maybe um, there we go I'm uh, gonna go over gonna go over flight modes we're in inputs and bam 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 let me just I'm scrolling through one or two there channel 5 there you go channel 5 set that to a switch do you know how to set switches on your QX7 hopefully that's gonna focus it's gonna be a little bit hard to see I'll try to tilt this way You're not going to be able to see it. Okay, but anyway, channel five, um, that'll get you. Uh, that'll get you your motor fire. Channel six is uh, channel six is for your lights. Hopefully that helped you out. If that did help you out, maybe you have the controller in front of you. Maybe you could let me know right away if it helped you out. Um, that'd be dope. Um, and what I might not see, I, I don't have my channels labeled on my T8SG, so I was going to check it and I'll also tell you. Um, just saw the title. <laughs> you like that? You like that? Um, I figure may, may, maybe I could get some non-drone watchers in here, like people that just thrive on watching hoarders, and they think they're just going to come into something crazy. And I mean, you are coming into something crazy. <laughs> I mean, look at the hair, man. Look at the hair. Um, and then, uh, and then they see all, it. Maybe, maybe I'd be able to catch uh, some new viewers and maybe turn some people on to drones or whatever or whatever else we were talking about. Uh, I'm with you, Channel Five Motor, Channel Six Lights. Cool, cool. Did it work? Did it work? Hopefully it works. Um, imagine a hoarding show trying to take... <laughs> I've thought about it. Um, freaking working. Dude, I will post on exclusives in a bit. Bam, so happy I could help you out. Um, and again, we can divert. I have no scheduled plan here. We can divert. If you need help with something, most of my stuff is around me. And again, this was not. This was sitting next to my computer, which actually I went to put it back on my SIM uh, module because all I do I start my sim which is free flight and I plug it in and this is what I fly my sim with this this is my dedicated sim controller um, I could use my T8 SG's but uh, 
I, I generally don't use my T12 for anything. Um, cause again, I like deviation. I really like deviation, but, uh, I'm, I'm good enough on open TX that I can definitely do it. All right. So I'm going back, I'm clicking on free rider FPV, select model and BAMZO. So that way, when I go to plug in, I don't got to restart my game because I'm on the correct model to play my SIM. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. A lot of people's T12s will no longer say open TX because they've done the update to them. This is one of the first um t12s that was out i didn't do the update to it i did however update that module on the back so i could have the bugs protocol um that way i i, I made i made a video on it too i don't know that the video would help you any more than me doing what i just did um but yeah so that's that's what it is who else do we have in here uh there's 14 people 14 people and i got like three or four talking um three or four talking again we are we are on our t-kick it is hot it is hot and humid. I don't run an air conditioner in my house. Um, I just don't. I don't. I might start, but as of right now, I don't. And this, this, the drone room is the only room in the house that don't got a ceiling fan. My my son room, my enclosed porch in the back has, has a ceiling fan. My kitchen has a ceiling fan. My living room has a ceiling fan. My bedroom has a ceiling fan. This don't got a ceiling fan in it. Um, my T12 says jumper TXC Birdman. I turned Birdman onto the jumpers. Birdman, uh, he has a T12, and like he said, his says uh, his says jumper TX on it. It's the same thing. It really is the same thing. It was just a legal issue. It was a legal issue, and that's why they made the jumper TX thing. But it's still operating like any open TX controller would, like any Tyrannus would. Um, Birdman, y'all got T where you're from? Been uh, been talking about tea. You got uh, you got store bought uh, dairy tea. Where y'all from? What else we guys got? Let's see. What else do I got here? I got the bugs. The bugs two pro, which hasn't seen much flight time. Man, I think that's the bugs two pro. I think that was all silver. Yeah, it's got the eyes on it. No other company has put the eyes on it. Um, there is, however, <clears throat> a couple other companies that made one, like Potensic. Potensic has one. Um, I don't know that I'm going to be able to reach it. I'll reach it. I'm going to stand on my chair. See, and I got stuff stacked to the ceiling. Um, just stick all your drones on the roof upside down and let them rip. There we go. There we go. Just like attach one and just arm it and let it blow. Um, <laughs> I'm standing up. Excuse me. So here, here's, and Potensic actually came out with this first, right? So Potensic came out with the Bugs 2 Pro, essentially. I think that's what it is. Um, first, where it had Follow Me through the app. And then, and then MJX came out with a more shinier silver one. And uh, basically did the same thing as this. But Potensic did it first. Um, which kind of makes you think maybe they're in cahoots with one another. Uh, maybe they're the same company. I don't know. I never got an answer on that. Actually, I've never asked that before, but, um, that's just my general thoughts on that. Um, how about, how about, how about this guy? How about this guy? Do we know what this is? Birdman, you're not allowed to talk. Um, anybody else who's in my drone groups, you're not allowed to talk. Um, any, do we know what this is? Anybody who's new to the channel, do we know what this is? Um, it's dirty. Like this thing has, this this thing's been around. <laughs> There's another one of them behind me on that table. Let's see. Let's see if you can see it. Am I leaning the right way? No. I don't know. There. It's like there's a right in front of that parrot box. Um, <coughs> Birdman <coughs> said something. It says show or hide. It's six sixty nine degrees here. It's been one hundred and ten last few days. Uh, world's most hated drone. That is correct. That is correct. If you guys don't know, here. Right? Mr. Blue Eyes. Mr. Blue Eyes. Absolutely love this drone. This is still to date my favorite drone. Um, <clears throat> the the J drone is pretty close to taking over the spot of this. But uh, so we got Andrew, we got Jason, we got Birdman, we got we got more, we get we got a lot more people watching. Do you guys know what this is? want to know what this is do not care what this is <laughs> um i'll tell you what it is basically what you have here is uh brother jay cease to entertain never cease to entertain 
I'm trying here. I'm trying. I'm really not trying hard. I'm just picking up stuff and talking because there was comments made on my YouTube videos. When are you going live again? So I figure I'd go live and uh, we'll get this done. We'll get this done. We'll go live and then who knows when I'll go live again. But uh, J Drone, one of J Drone's favorite drones. You guys want to know what it is. What is it? I need to get me one. Because <laughs> you see, I got a lot of drones. I got a lot of drones. Um, if this one stacks tall on the list, got to be something special um it is something special it is not user friendly however um bamzo there's the controller is this the controller for this one i don't think so no controls for this one is over there i got a bunch of these um but anyway that's the controller for it lots of toggles nothing marked really um you really got to memorize this um but uh it's a gps drone it's called the al salmon cg035 um it is a gps drone that you can turn the gps off and you can burn around with these brushless motors and it gets dope range just off of this controller you can hit like 1.4k other people i've seen on youtube have hit over 2k with it um myself i've only gone out to like 1.4k on it dope 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 one they make an all black one with an optical flow unit that plugs in there the gps works well on this i don't see why you have that optical flow unit um but j drone don't care about that no i don't no i don't where is it i was just Birdman. i was just playing with one of them to see if I can get it up and going. And it's right here, woo, almost fell out of my chair. Almost fell out of my chair. Bam's up. So this is what Birdman is talking about. Bang Toys. X16. I have two of them. I have a GPS one, which I don't know that this is the GPS one. This is not the GPS one. The GPS one you can actually see sticking out over there. Maybe I'm pointing at it. I might be pointing at it. I think I'm pointing at it. We got to go this way a little, maybe. This way. I think that's that's about correct. We might be pointing at it now. Bam! Yes, we are. So, I have two of these, and uh, I've had no luck with them. <laughs> I've had no luck with them. Uh, they, they're 3S drones, and they're straight powerhouses. They're lifters, and it's really... I've had no luck with them. Um, I was messing with this the other day, Birdman, and just no luck, no luck with it. And I don't know what's changed in the deviation protocol, but it will no longer bind to this. And I'm a little bit sore about that, but it doesn't even matter because they wouldn't really fly well at all. Love the X-16. And Perth West Oz. Again, Perth West Oz is one of my friends. It's one of Birdman's friends. Um, Perth West Oz, he has a couple custom, um, custom drones of the Bang Toys. And uh, they're pretty dope. So what else do I got around me? I, I got I got a little subwoofer. Let's see what's around J Drone. Got a little subwoofer that attaches to some speakers. Um, this right now I'm kind of doing a little filler. Uh, I hate the stock props though. Had to had one explode on me. What? Where's that video? <coughs> Where's that video, Birdman? Um, guys, if you wanna if you wanna check out another channel, my man Birdman does do with some uploading on YouTube. Definitely uh, go check them out. That'd be nice. Um, I'm back. Glad to see you're still rolling. We are still rolling. Um, I'm just right now starting to just pick stuff up and kind of show it and kind of talking to Birdman, kind of just jabber jawing. Um, and absolutely, again, I've said, I, I said it before, and if anybody else comes in that has a YouTube that I know uploads constantly, I'm more than happy to give you a shout out. More than happy to try to drag my viewers, you guys, over to them just to check them out kind of to build a community because uh like comment said uh inter engaging one another um is what's good for youtube so what else do i got around me dx4 uh i'll cover up the brand man dx4 remote controller anybody know what the dx4 um who makes the dx4 anybody anybody i don't know that you can see a dx4 i don't think i have one hanging yeah i do i have one hanging there's one hanging uh there's one hanging up there. Bam! Jason comes for the win. Sharper image. DX, DX4 is actually a pretty good drone. Um, the DX2 was a pretty dope drone too. A uh, smaller version of the DX4. Direct feed motor. Straight ripper. Straight ripper. My Myself, I don't have a sharper image DX2. I have a... Bam's Oh, Jeff got it too. Um, I have a blue hat. I bought it out of the, where did I get it? I got it out of Big Lots. Blue Hat DX2. Same exact drone, just rebranded. Um, Banzo, what'd this come off of? Anybody, we're, we're just playing guessing games now. Um, and again, if anybody has anything that they need to know, definitely let me know what drone did this come off of specific. Um, hey guys, I'm going to do a flight full metal heli 
for Full Metal Heli with his Up Air one sold me uh, a couple years ago on his birthday. That'd be cool. A little mashup. Birdman's going to do a little mashup. I want to do mashups. <laughs> I want to do collabs. Um, <clears throat> Bugs 3 what? Bugs 3 what? Uh, Northwood Media Works. What is going on? Um, Bugs 3 what? Comes off of a specific model. Um, anybody? 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 I'm not going to drag on it, but if you know, bam, those Scrooges fell out of it. Invite everyone to do the same in his memory. <coughs> oh, wait. Okay. So, all right. Full Metal Heli. Um, I guess Full Melly, Metal Heli has passed. I'm out of the loop. I kind of live in my own world. Um, with you saying that, I thought you were going to meet somebody and doing a collaboration. I want to do collaborations. I want to do collaborations. Absolutely want to do collaborations. I think it's so cool when two channels meet and you get two different worlds on the same thing. It's kind of like uh, it's kind of like when uh, Marvel superheroes get all in the same movie. It's awesome. Not to say we're superheroes on YouTube or anything, but it's kind of like the same engagement. Um, Bamzo, Bamzo, Bamzo. He passed uh, two days after, 46th birthday. Again, very sorry to hear about that. Did not know about that. Um, Birdman, you're allowed to answer on this one. What drone? What drone? Do we know what drone this came from? Anybody else could answer, too. Um, clearly, it's MGX related. Again, I like MGX. The two newest models that they've come out with, I do not like. Look at that camera focus. That is dope. Um, H, Andrew got it. That was off the H from the last question. I don't know how much of a lag is on here, but we're going to go ahead and sit this down. If anybody wants to answer that, by all means, uh, answer that. Again, I got another MGX controller down here. Here, I got an old school one. I got an old school one here. <clears throat> Nobody's going to know this. Um, I got telemetry the whole nine yards. Um, one of my B3s, Banzo. Yo, I appreciate it. That's why I support your stuff you do. Banzo. <laughs> happy, happy, uh, happy you got that working, man. Happy uh, everything's working for you. And uh, I always appreciate hearing you guys appreciate what I'm doing. Because, um, again, besides the entertainment aspect, besides everything that I do, just like I did with that T12, I'm more than happy to help anybody. Um, way much better. I fly the X400 on the jumper now. And Birdman got it for the win. So here, Birdman, nobody's getting this. Nobody's getting this. Uh, I'm putting it out there. Um, bum, 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 bum. I'll put my money where my mouth is. Hmm. Right here, I'll let you guys decide. I'll let you guys decide. Um, so I'm going to hold up a controller, like I've been doing. Um, and if somebody gets it right, which I don't think anybody's going to get it right. Some, Birdman might. Birdman's been around for a while. Hmm. All right. Anyway, if you get it right, you have your choice, or you want to, let's make the choice right now. If, if, if you guys get this controller right, I send you $10, $10, $10. Um, I might just stick it in a padded envelope and send a $10 bill. <coughs> or a DM009. I have one of those sitting around. If you don't know what a DM009 is, that right there is a DM009. It is a glow bug. Um, I don't think I got a battery that I could plug into it. It's sitting around here, though takes a smaller 2s battery um x600 andrew is also correct um it's off of the x400 and the x600 um use both are correct the mgx drones have those controllers um but anyway what do you, what do you guys want ten dollars you want a dm009 if you get the next controller up correct uh i'm willing to send a brand new not used like this one's used this one's mine um in the box brand new one anywhere in the world <laughs> Anywhere in the world, just as well as the $10 goes anywhere in the world. You guys type 15 people. Get on your keyboard. I need three, the top three, either $10, type $10, or DM009. First three $10 or first three DM009 is what it is. And then I'll hold up the controller. So this is kind of a deal here. Jeremy, you are correct. Uh, X400, X600, that's what the last... Uh, that's what the last one was. Both, haha. -ha. You're not getting both, haha, -ha, because it's going to cost me <laughs> minimum ten to forty dollars if this thing goes overseas. Um, Jeff Fiddler says drone will count that as DM009. Let me hear two more DM009s. Let me hear one more DM009 or three ten dollars. 
Um, Jason Combs says drone. I need one more answer. Somebody get on the keyboard, type drone or type ten dollars. Bring it does not count. I don't know what bring it means. Drone, drone it is DM009. So I'm gonna hold up a controller. If you guys could tell me what this is from, you get a drone. Um, I'm also going, I can't start a timer. Hmm. How do I start a timer? Yeah, I can. I can. Um, bam, so everybody wants the DM009, nobody wanted $10. Um, that's a little surprising. But uh, bam, we got more DM009s coming in. Um, drone phone. ET drone phone. <laughs> All right, so what I'm doing here, I'm dragging a window over here, and I'm going to type in stopwatch. Stop. Watch, W-A-T-C-H. I would think if I type in stop, bam, look. Yo, if you go to Google, right, everybody's typing in DM009. That's awesome. If you go into Google and type in stopwatch, there's like a little timer that comes up. So 60 seconds. I'm going to give you guys 60 seconds um, to tell me what this controller is. And I'll keep it up. I'll keep it up. What or what drone this controller came off of? In three, two, one, starting. Sixty seconds. One second is gone. Two seconds is gone. Three seconds is gone. I'm just gonna let that go. Um, clearly, this is an older drone. We'll get the light. We'll make it fair. If I can find the light, it's not gonna be too fair. I can't find the light. Um, it's not too fair. Or you guys can see it. You can see that controller, can't you? Here, we'll kind of turn it this way. Turn it this way. Where'd the light go, dude? There, that was perfect. That was perfect. Um, Unboxing Warehouse. What is going on, brother? Unboxing Warehouse is another YouTuber. Definitely check out his channel. Looks like the smaller 15. Yeah, Birdman got it. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Um, I should have let it go. I should have let it go to see if anybody else was going to get it. Um, yes, Bird, Birdman got it. Um, 15, nope, the Cyclone, no, not the Cyclone. I, and again, I highly doubted anybody was getting, you, you have to be around, and I, it's right here, I can show you it. Um, you, you have to be around the drone game for quite, ah, it's got batteries in it, look at that. Um, for a little while to know this controller, because it doesn't say what it is, it doesn't say a brand. The 1505 wasn't even branded to my knowledge, it might have been that, it might have been RNDR, whatever that is. Um, not sharper image, not seven eight. So I guess there's a huge lag on here <laughs> as people are still guessing, but that's fine. Um, but Birdman, you're getting a DM009 sent out to you, brother. Um, you know, Facebook, you have me on Facebook. Um, here, check it out. I got it. I got it. Come here, little buddy. Come here. Oh, I broke it. I broke it. <laughs> All right. So besides the fact that I just broke it because I've hammered this drone, a little bit of glue will fix that. Um, I, I, this thing's been glued out the wazoo. Like, I don't know if you can see all the glue that's holding this together. I've put this through its paces, man. I've had this on altitude flights. I've had this way distance away from me. That's modded props that are on it. That's a modded camera that's on it. But this drone weighs next to nothing. I think it's, I think it might be a 10th of a pound and it's a powerhouse. It's a brush drone and it's a powerhouse. I don't know if you, I would assume you can get these, uh, tranches 1505. That's what it was called. Um, and it says tarantula on it. I don't know if you can see that. We're gonna, we're, I, this is gonna have to go on the bench. We're gonna have to glue that, even though I didn't have any plans on flying it anytime soon. Let's see if the, bam, this got, look, broken arm and all, and this thing's lit up. Um, 20 seconds behind with lag. Thank you, brother. So I'll just keep talking and whatnot. Um, but this thing is a monster, dude. Here, we got batteries in it. Let's see if we can bind to it, even with a broken arm. Um, now we're playing with fire. Here we go. Here we go. All right, we're gonna. Yeah! We got a broken arm and this thing's ready to go. Just needs a little bit of glue. Um, looks like my original Bugs Mini all JB welded, right? I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. This is plastic. I, 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 is it recording? Might be recording. I got a little blinky light underneath it too. Again, that's that camera sucks on it. We get tons of jello with that camera on it. Um, but yeah, this this is a drone that's staying in my arsenal. I even even if, even how broke it is, I, I wouldn't sell it. I, I would definitely glue it. I've had I've had a lot of flights with this drone. And again, we are on and we are ready to go. She wants to fly. She wants to fly. Listen to them motors. Yeah, you can't hold me down. 
Um, and it has a toggle on it. A lot, a lot of your, a lot of your older toy grades did not have toggles on it. Um, so that's cool. So there we, there we go. We did a little guessing game again. At, out of everybody that was here, I figured maybe Birdman was going to be able to get it, but I was even doubtful of that. I was, I was kind of banking on not giving away. Like we were at forty-five seconds. We were at forty-five seconds. Another fifteen seconds, I wouldn't have to ship anything out. <laughs> um, so, uh, but I'm happy to. It's, it's. All in the fun of YouTube, I'm more than happy to do so. This is just gonna go right in. There's there's a Pac-Man machine right in front of me. That's again how we got the little screen icon. Um, I was playing Pac-Man and then I decided to clean up the room a little bit, which I did. I got a lot of stuff in my hallway that I'm hoping people on Drone Days want and they're gonna buy. And it's really cheap and it's all in the boxes. Um, I wonder if that can be jumped. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think I've tried it. I think I think all my older birds when I was on my jumper kick. Bam's up. Come on. What are you doing? There we go. <clears throat> my original jumper. Um, I tried, I think I tried all my older drones. And at the time that I got this, I wasn't so overwhelmed in this room that I had so, so much. I still had a lot, but I didn't have so, so much. And I'm pretty sure that I tried that bird, man, because that would be awesome on the jumper. Although this stock controller, surprisingly, is pretty darn good. It's pretty darn good. So uh, we're, we're, let's see, we're still playing what's around J drone. I don't know. Um, I'm just trying to show you what I got around me. Um, here we go. Is the taupe in the hallway? No, the taupe is not in the hallway. I don't plan on getting rid of the taupe. The taupe is, where is me taupe? Where is me taupe? It's in a case. Uh, can't, it comes in a case. I don't, should be sitting like right here in the vicinity. Unless I moved it. I might have moved it into the closet over there. I don't see it. Um, but here, everybody knows what this is, right? If you're in the drone game, you know what this is minus my uh, foldable props on it, which make for horrible footage. <laughs> the foldable props look cool and whatnot, but it gives it so much jello on that camera. And the original X5Cs, the, the cameras were pretty good. They were two, meg two megapixel cameras, and I've gotten dope and dope footage off of them. Um, I have the same color U807 behind you, bro. U807. Which one's U807? Hmm. I gotta look it up. I gotta look it up. U807 drone. Oh, okay. Um, are you talking about, uh, are you talking about the big foamy that's behind me? There's a foamy that's behind me. Where is it? Somewhere. U807. Which one's U807? Who makes U807? Help me out. I don't see the foamy. I had a foamy up there. Um, I got a foamy on here. I typed in U807 drone. Um, I don't know which one you're talking about. I do apologize. Or U807. Dude. Uh, new High Toys. GP Toys made a clone of it. I do apologize. Um, this message held for review. Um, little White Quad. I don't know why Birdman's message is being held for review. We'll show it. Uh, um, but yeah, the U807 is pretty dope. I have a, I have a brand new one of those in a box somewhere. And I also have a Trooper, GP Toys Trooper. We'll show you that. Um, it's the same quad. The, the U807 is jumpable. It's, uh, on deviation, deviated. Um, new high. There you go. U high. Bam's up. GP Toys Trooper is essentially the same drone. They all share the same body style as the Latraxis, which I have a Latraxis. You can see on the side there, hopefully. Focus, focus. Where'd my light go, dude? I lost my light. It's horrible. Um, we had a light because we were encountering light, lighting issues here, and the light just disappeared. I mean, that light's gone. It is not in this, yeah, it is. Bam, I found it. I found it. You're gonna lie out of me. Um, so, nope, and I just lost that box. I put the box back kind of wanted to show you the side of this box all right 21 people watching if you haven't smashed a thumbs up please do so even if you don't like this feed thumbs up for the hair come on look at the hair I'm, I'm, I'm thinning back here but i'm compensating up here and down here <laughs> um here um let's see so here we go 
it shares the same body style as the Latraxis. You should be able to see that a little bit better. Maybe over there. There we go. There we go. There it is. Um, at least I still got some. Um, I still I still got some too. I got some. I got right there. I got a little bit there. Um, <laughs> here, how about this one? This one is by far one of my favorite color drones. Not as much as you. <laughs> Mine's going. It's been going for a long time. A little froggy. Anybody got this drone? If you don't have this drone and you're looking for a ready to fly FPV drone, this is a pretty dope drone, guys. Um, and again, I, I'm not soliciting for anybody. I'm just giving you my honest opinion. We just dropped the light. Giving you my honest opinion about it. Anybody know what the drone is? Anybody know that drone off the top of your head? I don't know it off the top of my head. I have the box here, so I'm going to show you what it is. Um, yes, the U8, dude, the U807, I believe it said sport on it. A lot of drones have been dubbed sport and haven't been sport drones. Um, but the U807 for a brush drone was definitely a sport flyer for its time. So what drone is this? We're going to go ahead and put this back in here. Alias clones. Love them. Yep. And I have an alias. And I haven't really flown it much. It might still be in a box. Um, cause essentially I got, I got, uh, the Dromina Ominous. Anybody remember that? Dromina Ominous. Say that a hundred times fast. Dromina Ominous. Dromina Ominous. Dromina Ominous. Dromina Ominous. Yeah. See, I just, I just screwed up. I said, man, man, man. Um, the Dromina Ominous, I got to learn acro on, and I didn't learn acro on it. <laughs> that didn't happen. Um, my uh, my Ghoul RC G80, I had a Ghoul RC G90, which I learned acro on, and then uh, I killed, and then I got the G80, and the G80 has been beautiful. Beautiful. Proximity flying. Dude, we, we, got, we got so far distracted on proximity flying. I wanted to talk about that. But here's what that is, Ishin. Ishin makes good stuff. I like Ishin. Um, but this is ready to go. This is ready to go. I believe this has acro as well. Um, you could even you could even take the controller with this and hook it to Sims. That's pretty dope for toy grade, right? Um, but here, so what is proximity flying? You guys see me flying an acro in open spaces with this. Or maybe you saw me flying an acro around that abandoned building and I killed this. <laughs> so that's proximity flying. Proximity flying is when you are flying. Uh... Ryan, I didn't even see you come in, brother. What is going on? Live stream. This is rare. What? Are... Right? It's rare. I know. Um, what was your first drone and who got it for you? I can show you my first drone. And my wife got it for me. My wife started to madness. Um, my second drone you can see has red props, maybe over the shoulder. It's above the Call of Duty drone. That's my second drone over there. Um, it's above the Call of Duty drone, World Tech Toy Striker. But uh, before we deviate to my first drone, uh, we will touch on that. So you see me flying acro in open space with this. I do well with that. Try to put this in close proximity in a closed area. I don't do well with that. I was told on Rotoriot by somebody... Um, if you are going to learn to fly proximity, you need to fly proximity. Go find a patch of trees, which I just so happen to have a patch of trees at the end of my property, and do figure eights around them. Fly around them. This has been king to do that. Because it's weird. Like, in stab mode, in stability mode, um, absolutely, Mark, absolutely. Um, you, you don't. You don't try to sink your back end. You, you, I don't even think you can sink your back end to turn around stuff. But that's how you make tighter turns in acro. You're kind of flying around and you're backing your back end a little bit to kind of weigh it down and turn really quick and make all these turns. And this is how I've been learning proximity flying. I have footage from this from when I was doing it. If you're on drone days, you've probably already seen the footage. I had Static X music playing in it. A lot of people said... Uh, said uh amphetamine flying j because it was pretty it was pretty erratic but that's uh, that's that's where i'm at as far as a pilot goes as far as a pilot my goal right now because i'm pretty good at flying open space acro my goal right now is to be able to fly proximity be able to fly in close quarters be able to weave around stuff be able to hit gaps and whatnot um and that's where i'm at right now and that's what i'm using a goal rc g80 um, I do have gem fans on it. It didn't come with gem fans. It came with like five blade fan props, which weren't that great, uh, especially on recovery. It would kind of 
we, we, we would go to do a flip and it would kind of flop around a little bit. So my first drone, somebody asked me what my first drone is. I know right where it is. Um, it's actually hanging on a wall that you cannot see. So I'm gonna go grab it just to show it to you if I can tiptoe through the drones here. Um, get it off the wall, I got it off the wall. We're trying not to knock anything else off the wall, if possible, and we got it. I'm coming back. I have a lot of good things to say about this drone. Um, a lot of people have a lot of not so good things. Um, hey Jay, thanks for putting out relevant content and not just putting crap out there to take advantage of people. And, they, and it, yes, we'll touch on that before we, yes, my wife bought me my first drone. Um, still like my older cruisers though. Um, so let's touch on that. We got Van City who said something and we got Ryan aka D's. Um, I'm never, never, I'm never going to push junk down people's throats. Um, I've slammed a couple drones, the, the SEMA X8 AMG, literally, I slammed it to pieces. <laughs> I slammed it to pieces and lost my contact to gear vest. Um, no, she had no idea. And we're going to get to that. Um, the X8 AMG gear vest sent to me. Gear vest wanted me not to post a video. Gearbus told me not to post a video. Guess what I did? I posted the video. Go ahead. Go go look. J Drone. Here, I'll, I'll get the video for you. I'll get the video for you right now. You can watch it after the feed. You can pull up a second screen if you want to. Um, J Drone X8 AMG. Okay, I got. I actually got a couple of videos on it. I have three videos. So I'm just going to give you my search results here. Mine's the first three. If you want to check them out, absolutely. Not naming names, but to the channel that put a 22-minute video on Beepers. That channel. I didn't see that channel. I don't know. I don't know what channel that is. I'm trying to. There we go. So if you go there, you'll see the X8 AMG. I flew that and busted that to pieces, and was told by Gearbest not to put that out. And guess what happened? I put it out. I lost my contact to Gearbest because I did not want to pull the wool over your guys' eyes. Um, does she say she's a drone widow? <laughs> Mine does. No, she doesn't. She does get a little bit overwhelmed. Um, haha, didn't you punt that drone? Wow. I don't know. Huh? You sure are talking a lot about me. You have the doors open. You want to say hi? No. Come say hi. No. Come say hi. You don't. You don't even got to get in frame. Get your hand in here and wave. Oh my god! <laughs> nope. You gotta come over here. Let me see. Nope. Come on. The camera's right there. Mm. She's waving at the computer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There you saw her hand, and you could see her tie dye through uh through the window there. There. <laughs> Uh, Northwoods Media Works says hi, Mrs. J. You can't even get in here. <laughs> even if, <laughs> even if I wanted to come in and say hi to you and get on camera, there's no room for me. I'm not even a big person. There's still no room for me to get in here. It's tight quarters. You guys know that. Um, he keeps it that way to keep the wife out. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. Um, but uh, uh, Ryan AK says hi. Um, She's a saint to put up with all that she is. And again, she, again, she gets frustrated with it. But uh, let, let's get back out to not putting out poop. Um, so, like, I do... I, what do I have sitting around? Come on, I gotta have something. Something, something. Um, here. No. Um, just, I don't know. Alright, so here. I do a lot of RT, RTF GPS brush drones. Okay? I do, I do it for the simple fact that I get a lot of the stuff sent to me or I get it heavily discounted. Okay. Um, like the last one, the last one that I did, let me check out J drone. I'm going to go over here. I don't even remember the last one I did. I did it yesterday. It was maybe a potensic might've been a potensic. I'm clicking on J drone, J drone, J drone, J drone hoarders interview J drone live now. Okay. Yes. It was a potensic T 35 GPS drone. Okay, Potensic T35 GPS drone. At the end of the video, and sometimes I do it before, sometimes I do it during, sometimes I do it at the end. At the end of the video, I made it very clear for the price of this drone, depending on where you are, are at in a hobby, me per se, 
you can get a better drone for the price. Um, a, a lot of a lot of your Amazon drones are extremely high priced. There, there, there's only one good draw with that is if you break it, they'll replace it. Um, if it comes broken, they'll replace it hassle-free. But for $200 on a brush GPS drone, um, we can see you in the window. For, exactly. Um, I, I knew you were going to be able to see her through the window. But um, a lot for $200, you can get a lot. Um, you can get a Bugs 3. You can get a Bugs 3 Mini. You can get a Bugs 2. Right here, right there. Let's just do GPS drones. Um, for 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 the brush drone that I, I flew yesterday versus a Bugs 2, the Bugs 2 wins. It wins. And I make it clear that you can get more bang for your money unless you're a newbie. If you are a newbie and you are unsure about yourself, maybe you don't want to order from China. Maybe you want to order for, Chan for from Amazon to have that reassurance. Um, there's been a couple other drones that I've put out there that I've uh, that I've slammed. There's been a couple drones that were, were decent drones that I've slammed to cameras. I, I will never I will never get tied into a company. Um, I will never get tied into a, a sponsorship. I will never get tied into affiliation where the affiliation, the sponsorship, the company means more than you, means more than my self-pride. Um, once that happens, this J Drone channel is getting deleted. <laughs> the entire channel will get deleted because once that happens, then something has changed drastically. And that's it. That's for me, that's not what it's about. Um, would I like to be the next Casey Nunstat? Yeah, man. <laughs> um, would I like to not have to work a blue collar job? Would I like to, would I like to just roll in dough and put videos out and whatnot? Absolutely. I would like to get to that point. Will I sell, will I sell out for that? Ray FPV in the house. Ray FPV in the house. Um, big welcome to Ray FPV. If you don't know Ray FPV, he's been with me a long time. He also has a YouTube channel. He is also doing some little, uh, little FPV flying that he's been posting on there. Check out Ray FPV's channel. Tell him J Drone sent you. Everybody say hi to Ray FPV. That's my dude. Um, if you guys see, I don't know if you guys can see it. I definitely can see it when users are commenting. Um, it says top recipient. Um, it'll say top recipient of hearts. I give hearts a lot of the time for the comments and whatnot. This dude racked him up. He has him racked up ridiculously. I'm going to tell you how many hearts this dude has racked up. I'm going over to one of my videos. I'm assuming he sent it on my last video. Um, he might not have. Oh, Ray, you're sleeping. You're sleeping, Ray. In the last video. Um, I'm pretty sure he got the video before that, though. Pretty sure he got the video before that. Let me see here. I'm looking for Ray. I'm looking for Ray. I'm looking for Ray. I'm looking for Ray. Where's Ray? Bam. 429 hearts this man has. 429 times he's commented that I've clicked hard on it. This dude's been with me for a while. Um, so I definitely appreciate you checking in, Ray. Uh, I like your channel because you don't get bought. But exactly. I've lost. <laughs> I've lost. I, I guess I'll just tell you the companies. Um, Hobby Wow. I lost Hobby Wow. The CG033, I got discount. I still paid $100 for it. The CG033, and that's made by Alcenma. I love Alcenma. We talked about that. I love the CG035. Um, I got it on discount. That was another one of those people that, uh, don't post the video. Dude, I paid $100 for this drone. One, I want my money back. <laughs> I want my money back on the CG033. Two, I'm posting the video, right? I mean, they never really sent me a whole lot. Um, they sent me a cheap pair of FPV goggles once. He sent me some returned items uh, uh, that I got that I was able to utilize the batteries. The drones were trash, though. Um, so Hobby Wow, I lost Hobby Wow. Gearbest, I already talked about Gearbest. I lost Gearbest. I, I've kind of bounced back and forth with Gearbest. They constantly want me. <laughs> so I lost them. Then I got them back, and then I lost them. Then I got them back, and I've lost them again. I no longer have them. Um, who else? RC Moment. RC Moment. And I don't think out of any doing of myself that I've lost RC Moment. They just kind of went a different way. Um, they, there's, Dude, there's been a lot. There's been a lot of people that I've lost just for being honest. Why? Why? I'm quality control. 
you should appreciate me testing something and then coming back to you and saying, yo, that drone was junk because maybe you want to decrease your stock. Maybe you want to send back your stock and stop selling it. As a vendor, like if I was the vendor and I had a J drone and I had a dude that was being brutally honest, I would praise them. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, or what's happened in the past, uh, like SEMA, I had a connection with SEMA, direct con connect to SEMA, no third party, direct connect to SEMA, um, that foldable drone that flew away on me, I told, uh, thank you for your honest reviews and great mod videos, uh, I brought all my RTF drones based, uh, I suck at reading, I do apologize, I'm gonna try this again, I brought all my ready to fly drone based on your reviews and have been, there we go. That's what I like to hear, and that's why I do what I do, because MGX needs some quality control on the, <laughs> yeah, their cameras, they're lacking on their cameras. The Bugs 2 was their last, the Bugs 2W was their last good camera. I mean, the Bugs 5, we'll give it to the Bugs 5. The Bugs 5's camera was pretty good, um, need a little bit of work, but their, for me, the Bugs 2W was their last good camera, in my opinion, and since then, they've been trying to do more than they should. Um, I'm getting, getting a lot of comments here. I'll read them. Let's see. Uh, me too at work, taking coffee break to watch Banzo, getting, getting break to watch J drone. Appreciate that. Right. Um, consumer reports, J drone. Absolutely. It goes both ways. If J drone says it's dope sale and it does, and it doesn't always, but it does. Uh, but back to what your trolling dad said, he's bought because of my reviews. And he's been happy because of my reviews. Now, what if I sugarcoated stuff? Uh, but rate sucks. On, rate sucks on drone drone cams if they paid attention. Absolutely. Uh, I got two bounce. Looking for two more live. Oh, you got two bounce. I can read. Um, AKK D's, Mr. Ryan. I appreciate you checking in. Um, but right. So what if? Like, we have dedicated watchers here, clearly, because of people's comments and whatnot. And clearly, like, Ray FPV, I told you how many hearts he has. He constantly watches me. Steve, what is going on, brother? Um, what if I was sugarcoating stuff? What if I was tiptoeing around? What if I was heavily editing stuff to the point where I was making everything look good? <laughs> I was making junk look good. You would go out and buy it, right? Because you probably would. J Drone said it looked good. It looked good on camera. It must be good. You go out and buy it, you get it back home, and it's trash. One, you're probably not going to be too happy with me. Two, you're probably not going to watch me anymore because why would you watch me? <laughs> I wouldn't watch me. Um, and I've, I've stopped watching certain YouTubers because I've caught a gist of that. I've caught a gist of that. And I'll give you, and I touched on it in my last video. My last video was the image, was the video quality of that Potemcic GPS drone that we were talking about. My last video, I touched on it, and I'm going to give you the biggest heads up that some YouTubers are pulling the wool over people's eyes. And they pull the wool over my eyes. I watch YouTube videos. How would you even have time to edit all that? Um, I do a lot of editing. And I do a lot of editing. And I could. I could. The picture and pictures that I do takes a lot of time. Check out the new MGX. Ray, I touched on the new MGX. The camera is junk. Um, the camera is junk. Uh, uh, who is it? Come on, come on, come on. I can't think of it, can't think of it. Wow, I can't think of it. Uh, Jack, Jack Chrome. Um, another YouTuber, you want to check him out. He has a review of the new uh, of the new MGX. The camera's junk. It looks good. The drone looks good. It f looks like it flies okay. The camera's junk. Um, don't forget to smash the like button. Pamzo, Ryan, said it. Don't forget to hit that like button. Um, but where was I going? Uh, 501, uh, I went with the 501 over the taupe and could not be happier. That's a good decision. 501 over the taupe has a 5.8. I would have done the same thing. I like the taupe though. Um, editing. So here, we're going to get to editing and then I'm going to tell you a little secret. I'm going to tell you a little secret that I've found that nobody else will tell you. All right. So editing, like the picture in picture, when I put, uh, when I put the camera down here, when I put my hat cam main screen and when I put the app in lower... That takes forever to load and save and edit. Um, so I I could. I, I, I could sugarcoat these videos out the wazoo. I could make stuff look good. I could put image stabilization on a video that came off of a drone that doesn't have image stabilization. I have software to do that. I don't ever do that. 
And uh, but here's uh, what's happening, Jay. This is my first time giving you a holler. I appreciate you, Jackery Gregory. I appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, uh, fan for life. I super appreciate that. So here's the secret, everybody listening. I'm gonna tell you a YouTube secret. I'm gonna tell you what guys are doing, and we we dude, we've diverted from the first drone. I got the first drone. I just looked down. I whoop, recall. Somebody asked me what my first drone was, and I never got to it. It's in my lap. We'll get to it. But before that, I'm going to tell you a secret. So, we were just talking about Picture in Picture. If you, was watch, if you guys have watched my channel when I do Picture in Picture, I'll do my hat cam. Lower left, lower right, generally app, generally video. And then throughout the, course of that, throughout the course of my video, I expand. I get rid of my hat cam. I expand the SD card video. Um, untouched footage. Uh, absolutely. Um, but when would you sleep? I don't sleep. I don't eat. I never do that. I'm up on tea. <laughs> I'm up on caffeinated tea. <laughs> I'm joking. I do sleep. Um, <laughs> um, I do eat. But, uh, and, and colors. You can change the colors, like Birdman's saying. But here, so, like, if you've watched my videos, I start with hat cam in the middle, main part, picture in picture with two lower things. Midway through the video, like when I'm flying away from myself, when the hat cam can no longer see it, why should I have the hat cam's view on it? Let me expand the video from the drone, right? Go ahead and check out a lot of your YouTubers. Check them out. Check them out on a drone that you know does have, have a poor quality camera. Check them out. What are you going to find? Here's the secret. Here's the secret. On a poor quality camera, what are you going to find from certain YouTubers? They never expand the picture in picture they keep the hat cam as the main image they keep the picture in picture little itty bitty picture in picture in the bottom left or the bottom right or wherever they've placed it what does that do it decreases the pixels what does decreasing pixels do it makes the video quality look better so you get tricked you see hat cam you see lower left you see them verbally stating out of their mouth because they have, and they've done it recently, and I've watched videos just yesterday of people doing this, um, and me having the same drone, seeing a different thing, and posting a different thing, they keep it in the lower left where the pixels aren't exploded to where they should be and they're minimized. And it being in the lower left does not give you full detail and makes it look better than what it is. I explode mine full screen, that way you guys can see exactly how the camera is. FYI, if you are watching a YouTuber that never explodes their picture in picture, they have the ability to do so. If they, if they can put picture in picture in there, they have the ability to expand that to the entire video. And if they're not doing that, they're hiding, they're sugarcoating, they're tiptoeing. They want to keep their sponsor, they want to make it look good, they want you to buy it regardless of the camera quality. That's what it is. Um, a lot of people aren't going to be happy with me. There's a lot of YouTubers that might chime into this part or somebody that's watching right now might go back to their favorite YouTuber and tell them, J Drone said this. Why aren't you doing this? And guaranteed, they're not going to change it because exactly what I said is what it is. When it's in the bottom left corner, bottom right, upper right, upper left, wherever, the pixels aren't exploded and it makes it look so much better. And if you keep it like that, you are going to misinform people. You are going to have people buying something off of that. And the truth does hurt. And I'm, I've always been one to spit the truth out. I don't care who gets mad at me. <laughs> and that's why I lose retailers, because I don't care who gets mad at me. Um, but that that's, that's my little secret. So I'm going to have a little sip of my caffeinated um, iced tea that is no longer iced and that is warm and just to wet my whistle here and then first drone what was j drone's first drone does anybody know does anybody know i don't think it was my first video my first video was of my second drone the sky viper uh man i kind of gave it away i gave away the name of my first drone uh i'll tell you who it is van said he said i'll tell you who it is um My first drone was not an X5. My second drone was the drone underneath the car skin over there, which is over there um, with the red and white props. That was my second drone. And that was my first YouTube video. Um, my first drone, I kind of said the name of it already, the, the brand. But if anybody wants to take a crack at what model it was, 
it's in my lap. I'm going to show it. Um, but yes, my wife got it for me. My wife started this madness. And he, here, here, here's how the progression went. I'm a very athletic dude. I'm a very outdoorsy dude. I like mountain biking. I like running. I like being physical. On vacation, I was lifting weights. Who goes on vacation and lifts weights? Um, but uh, so I, I was athletic dude, right? I had a couple cars playing with cars outside and whatnot. Disney Infinity. I was hooked on Disney Infinity. Um, RC sailors absolutely do nothing, but there you go. There you go. I didn't say it. I didn't say it, but I'll put my two cents on it now that somebody else said it. Um, and I can grab it. I can grab it. I'll show you. I'll show you. Then we're, we're deterring away from my first drone again. Um, we are deterring away from my first drone again. Oh, hello. My wife started my sickness. Drocon Navigator. That's, that's a nice one, dude. I have a Navigator up there. It's not Drocon. Um, who made that one? I don't know. Who, UDI. UDI RRC. Navigator. It's just to the right of that controller that I'm pointing at. Um, but here, I'll tell you how it is. Hold on. Ah, timber! Timber! We just had two bugs hit the ground. Bam, one bugs, two bugs. <laughs> um, that was the F100 Ghost and uh, bugs something. Bugs three something. Um, but anyway, PSA dropping truth, <laughs> dropping truth bombs. <laughs> um, <laughs> So, all right, check it out, check it out, check it out. Y'all know what this is? Everybody should know what this was. If you don't know what this is, come on, come on. Bugs splat. The bugs were splat, absolutely. So, this 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 is the Tarantula X6. Dude, this is one of the sportier brushed drones, period. Period. You have X8s that are heavy. This is not a heavy drone. Um... They didn't like the fact I called them out on their 20... Oh, all right. So that's a 22-minute beat per video. Um, I've called them out, too. And then I got trolled. I got trolled pretty heavy, which I'm okay with. Uh, I generally get three dislikes. I generally get three dislikes. As of recently, there was a time where there was a whole whole parade of trolls that were... like I could count per video that they were disliking. And it's just people popping in and hit thumbs down. Whatever. You popped in. You gave me a view. Thank you. <laughs> um... Uh, 1750 stunt drone or two. No, nope. And see, most people won't know this. Again, he's he's trying to guess my first drone, which was a Sky Viper. It's not a known model. I think it was the first Sky Viper on the market. Um, but, uh, all right, here. Tarantula X6. How much can we get this for? Let's see. MSR, MSRP today. Tarantula X6. Tarantula X6 drone okay today we can get this for 165 dollars on ebay which is ridiculous wow prices went up on this um 110 dollars on ebay 88 dollars on ebay um you used to be able to get these for like 50 some odd dollars um wow hold on hold the phone the price of these went up that's crazy so the cheapest i'm seeing here is 70 dollars which is fair but compared to what they used to be, seventy-six dollars. Wow, dude! You used to be able to get these for like fifty dollars on Amazon. Tell them a story about your first encounter with drones. Oh, my wife wants me to tell you guys a story about my first encounter with drones. You guys want to hear it? Type yes, um, or type no. Um, I was strolled a bit too. They were just say, right. I mean, what are you doing? You're still giving me views. So anyway, Tarantula X6. They had a Quadrone Sentinel. Go ahead and look that up. Quadrone Sentinel. Go ahead and look that up. I'm going to say it one more time. Quadrone Sentinel. Dope colorway. Same drone as this. It was like a green and a purple. Dope colorway. I almost bought it several times. But the reason I didn't buy it is a $300 drone. It's okay. Everybody's saying yes. I'll, I'll tell you my first encounter with a drone. Um, and it wasn't having my own drone. It wasn't the drone that my wife gave to me. I had an encounter prior to that. <laughs> um, so anyway, they did a video on an X6 clone from Quadrone, the Quadrone Sentinel. A $350 MSRP X6. I will say that again. $350 for a brushed toy grade X6 clone. And guess what? 
Now it's fine. It's fine. It's fine to do a review on a three hundred and fifty dollar X six clone. If I dude, if Quad Drone sent me one, I'm doing a review. I dude, I want that drone in the worst way. I want that drone because of the colorway, right? If they send it to me, I'm doing the review. But guess what I'm telling you guys? Don't pay for the colors. If you like this drone, you can get an X6 for 70 some dollars. And at the time, you were able to get an X6 for around $50 on Amazon. They mentioned none of that. They didn't say anything. They didn't even mention that it was a clone of the X6. They didn't mention it looked like the X6. They didn't mention anything. Here's the Quadrone Sentinel. Yay! It flies amazing! Go buy it! That is the last video that I watched of them. Because I used to watch them. I'm not going to lie. I used to watch them, man. And after that, dude, I, st my, I still got a nasty taste in my mouth because of that. Because at the time, I was, so, I was informed. I knew better. I, I was maybe a year into the game or something. I knew better, and that's why I got the bad taste in my mouth. But here's what left an even worse taste in my mouth. This is what left an even worse taste in my mouth. What about little Bobby? Little Bobby, his daddy will buy him anything. Little Bobby's watching them. Little Bobby likes the colors just like J-Drone does. Little Bobby says, hey, dad, I want that drone. Daddy will buy him anything. Guess what? Dad got robbed. Right? But if they had said it's an X6 clone, Aloha! What is going on, Luis Alberto Cortez? What is going on, brother? Um, what what if what if they would have said? What if they would have started the video? What if they would have said it in the middle of the video? What if they would have ended the video? If you like that drone, you can get a drone just like that, just not the same colors, for under a hundred dollars. Guess what? Guess what? I bet you, little Timmy or little Johnny or whatever I named the imaginary little kid, he would have said, "Hey, Dad." I like that drone. They said you could get it for $70. Because kids do that. I don't know if you're aware that kids are little salesmen. Um, kids are salesmen. Kids, kids, kids will tell you anything to get what they want. And if, 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 if little Johnny or little Timmy or whatever the imaginary kid's name is um, can follow up, I want that, and you can get it for 70 some dollars guess what? People didn't get robbed. And uh, speaking of Rob, did that kid who robbed you get his lumps? No, he didn't get no lumps. And from what I'm told, he ain't even getting charges pressed against him, which is ridiculous. But uh, ba back to the bad taste in my mouth. Plain and simple, non-imaginary people, whatever. And people new to the hobby watching them don't know any better. People new to the hobby watching them don't know any better and are going to go buy that drone. Dude, for 300 and some dollars, you can get a used DJI Spark. <laughs> right there. You, you can get a couple of these. You can get... <laughs> Steve, it's Bobby. <laughs> it's Bobby, Jay. Um, exactly. People new to the hot... And, and that's... That is my worst thing in the world. Because I was... I was... I was new to the hobby once. I remember when I was new to the hobby. That drone that I pointed at a couple of times over there with the red and white props. I was paying $70 a clip for an X5 clone at a retail store. And I was happy with it. Because I was drone crazy. I didn't know nothing about drones. I must have bought about three or four of them. Because I absolutely love flying them. And then I figured out how to fix them. And then I traveled down to Harrisburg. And bought an E-High Mirage. Which is a 3.7 volt brush drone. No camera. No GPS. No altitude hold. For $140 out of a mall kiosk. Because I didn't know. So once I did know. Guess what? I was better informed. But there's people that will be just like me in sales. I did sales back when I was like 18, 19. We used to call them guppies. People that would buy anything. People that were gullible and would buy anything because they were misinformed. Um, cool ski RC. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so that's that, that. I can't stand you. Two. Like, I don't know if yeah, it is. My veins probably popping out of my neck. <laughs> um, I can't stand YouTubers that will misinform people because it's you're not. I would rather them inform than misinform. Instead of being deceptive, be perceptive to people's needs. Be perceptive to new people that might be watching you. And that's why I always generally try to say, 
if it's way too expensive, it's overpriced. Or if it's higher, you can get something better. Um, those people y'all talking about also push on you that they're family oriented. Exactly. Exactly. Now myself, I like to pride myself in being family oriented, like a family oriented channel. Not because I'm showing my family. Not because my wife came in here. You seen her tie dye shirt from the uh, from my window, and uh, you seen her hand wave by. Not because I've had my son on my channel maybe like two or three times. Um, I like to consider myself a family oriented channel because I'm here for the family. I'm not here for your pocket. I'm here for the family. I'm also not cursing. Regular day to day, I do let the F bomb fly here and there. Um, I do say uh, say the more common word instead of poop, but with the S word. Um, I, I heavily censor myself on YouTube. Uh, I, there's not one video, there's not one video out of the thousand videos that I have on YouTube where I, I've let the F bomb fly. Um, there's been one video where I almost did <laughs> and I caught myself and people seen that I caught myself and called me on it um, but uh, Saying there right exactly and and that's an once once I called him on that Like I called him on that and then shortly thereafter they started verbally saying how honest they were They started verbally saying this and that because I had people come back to me and tell me yo you affected them <laughs> You affected them <laughs> like, like as a tornado that just ripped through and uh, and and changed their style and their format and whatnot. But verbally, you really don't have to say it. Uh, and again, for 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 new people, they don't know, so they don't know. If you don't know, you don't know. But for people that are in the hobby, uh, give Jay a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you, Robert. Um, buyers need to compare multiple channels for reviews. But there are many fools out there who watch one, and they do. And myself, I encourage people to watch other reviews, absolutely. I watch, dude, on certain drones that I have, before I go out to fly, I watch certain reviewers. Um, just to see what the drone's about. Am I going to encounter issues? I, like, just to get well formatted with the drone. And that's, that's where I also get perturbed. Where I see itty little bitty in the corner, camera quality, looks great. And they never exploded it. J Drone's doing his video, and I'm disappointed. And then I get mad. <laughs> um, because my camera quality didn't look like the itty bitty corner camera quality because they never expanded it to the full pixels. Um, so that's that's where we're at with that. Anyway, nobody guessed my drone, and I lost my drone. Where'd I put my drone? There. All right, here. What do you want to hear first? You guys want to hear my first drone encounter, or do you want to hear my first drone? Um, Hobby Porter in the house. Hobby Porter in the house. Y'all know who Hobby Porter is? Do you guys know who Hobby Porter is? I know who Hobby Porter is. Hobby Porter is one of my favorite companies. Um, and you guys, I've talked about companies. I don't try to sugarcoat anything. I don't care if people get mad at me. I've lost a lot of company sponsorship because of that. And Hobby Porter is one of them dudes who reached out to me because, and it was even, be, it, was, it was, it was, any, does anybody know? Okay. So, so Steve wants to hear about my first drone. I need two more first drones. Keep the Mrs. Happy dude. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we got we got want to hear my first drone. The other person wants to hear about my first drone encounter. I need two more first drones and two more drone encounters. Back to Hobby Porter. You you guys probably don't know who Hobby Porter is. Bam's up. What's in my hands? What's in my hands? So we got two first drones. Jumpers, and I got more jumpers throughout the house. I got I got a T8SG light here. This was my first jumper, dude. I was traveling the United States. Encounter and jumpers encounter. Um, first drone encounter, first drone. I think first drone wins. So I'll tell you about the first drone and then we'll go to my first drone encounter. Um, so everybody, if you could, to Hobby Porter, say thank you, Hobby Porter. Because they've influenced my channel greatly. And maybe they've turned you guys on to the TASG. Maybe they've turned you on to the T12. Which, do I still have the T12 in here? I should. Um, I don't know where I put it. Because <laughs> I just helped that dude with the programming of it. Um, I don't know. I don't know where my T... There it is. Here. Bam's up. T12. Bam. Jumper for life, dude. Um... But yeah, I was traveling the United States, I was doing Route 66, and I actually crossed the country 
What do you think about the Promark Shadow GPS drone? The Promark Shadow GPS drone is just like that Potensic drone that I flew yesterday. It's decent if you could get it at a good price. Around $100 is a fair price retail. Um, have you flown the Bugs Pro? Is it worth it? What Bugs Pro? Um, I let my kid watch you because you don't censor. Because you do censor. I do censor myself. I censor my mouth. Um, as a parent, I can tell you we appreciate you. And it, right, and I do censor my mouth because I want kids watching me. I want families, um, if possible, I want families sitting around and watching J Drone be a clown. <laughs> um, Bugs Three Pro with GPS. Yes, I have Bugs Three Pro with GPS. I have flown the Bugs Three Pro with GPS. I have lots of videos on that. Um, all right, we sidetracked it horribly. Everybody, if you could, thank you, Hobby Porter. And what's up, Hobby Porter? I see you. Um, I was traveling in the United States with this, Bugs 3, and maybe one or two other drones, right? I get from I get from California to South Carolina, I'm in a live feed, and guess who starts talking? Hobby Porter, right? So it, that was like the first manufacturer that's ever, and he's still, I, I've never really had any manufacturer or, or, uh, or contact coming in my live feeds, so that's huge, but, um, you guys know what I've done with this. <laughs> you guys know how this has changed my hobby. The drones that I'm keeping are the ones that are on the jumper. Um, and I'm hanging. I have a wall here that I have the jumper just hooked on. Uh, the sailors said they are are done reviewing drones. Well, good for them. Um, they shouldn't have been reviewing drones in the first place because they were misleading people. But all right, so you want to hear about the first drone and then the drone encounter. The first drone isn't really entertaining. Um, the drone encounter, how, however, is very entertaining <laughs> and I will, uh, the, the, how comical and animated that I am. And nobody said hi to Hobby Porter. Say hi to Hobby Porter or thank you, please. <laughs> um, here, here it is. Sky Viper V950 HD. This is it. It's in one piece. It still flies. I did a review on this the other day. Dude, look at this. Look. Can you see it moving and bending and stuff? Like, look at this. Look at this thing. There's a lot of companies, and this is bending. Like, <laughs> there's a lot of companies that tout a Duraflex. Bamzo, oh, Hobby Porter says hi all. Everybody's saying hi to Hobby Porter. Thank you guys. Um, there's a lot of guys that have turned on to jumpers and Hobby Porter. Bobby Porter is behind the jumper. If you didn't know, now you know. Um, but, uh, dude, Duraflex. Sky Viper was one of the first drones to actually truly use Duraflex. And I crashed this thing more times than you could count. And, uh-oh, uh -oh, what, what's going on here? No, 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 no. We are uh, buffering. Why are we buffering? We are buff camera around. Can you guys see me? Or can you see my wall, my jumper wall? H31 was great also. Um, I'm showing we're still live. No internet. Okay, so my computer, my computer just uh, lost my internet and I think it gained back. So now I'm gonna have a hard time re-sticking that back up there. Okay, you see the wall, so you see my jumpers. Um, all right, so it's still going. My I don't know why my computer is saying no internet. So I'm just going to keep going here. I'm going to try to put this back down. Hopefully it'll sit. Um, Mamzo, sit, sit. That phone is really hot. Um, why does my computer say no internet? Hopefully we don't lose internet connection here. If we lose internet connection, I do apologize. Um, no internet secured. <laughs> but anyway, the 950 HD was my first drone. It's a good drone. And uh, I'm going to click connect. Um, but here, drone encounter. I would like this to come up that way. Connecting, connected, secure. Bam, we're back. We're back. I'm back on my computer. Um, I don't know why that did that. Uh, but here we go. So, first drone encounter, jumper envy here. T16, dude, if you are, uh, if you are open TX, dude, you need to be on the T16. The T16 is very much wider, kind of like this Hubson controller. And it is more hobby popular, per se. 
like uh like and again it's i'm considering the carbon fiber t8sg the carbon fiber t8sg is sold via banggood and that's the only people that are selling it it is exclusive to them that's the one with the voice module in it that's just like my graffitied one that has the voice module in it i did a video on that um let's see my first drone was the MGX Bugs 3. You, you're spoiled. Your, fir your first drone was the MGX Bugs 3. You are spoiled. To start off with a brushless drone, you are super spoiled, bro. Um, but all right, so drone encounter. Are you guys ready for my first drone encounter? I'm ready to tell the story. Um, I'm going to wet my whistle. I'm going to wait for some yeses there. And then uh, we are going to go. Um, I don't know why it's like censoring people's comments. Um, XS809W, like, why would we have to censor that? I had to click show on that. That's weird. Um, yes, I got one yes. Let's get a couple more yeses on there, and then I will tell you about my encounter. It's funny. It is funny. You're not going to believe it. You might believe it. You should believe it, because I'm not lying about it. I got a couple more yeses coming. Yes, 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 Mark says, yes. All right, check it out. <clears throat> it's spring. Setting set that atmosphere for you. It's spring. You guys have seen my backyard. I've flown in my backyard recently during FPV flights and whatnot. Um, in the one corner of my backyard is where I tie out my Shai Mu. My Shai Mu is a Shih Tzu and an American Eskimo dog. Um, we can't fence in the whole yard because he climbs fences and then you climb and get out. But anyway back back to setting the timeline here um it's spring i'm going to take my shy move out i'm going to tie him out that way he can go to the bathroom and get some fresh air so i walk off of my back porch which is my sunroom it's an enclosed porch i get the dog over to the area i clip him on his clip i turn around now i'm facing my house okay i'm facing my house i'm walking towards my house i hear this noise dude I hear, I, dude, I hear, it sounds like a swarm of bees, like a really, really loud swarm of bees that is getting louder and louder and louder. <laughs> right? What is that? Right? Like, I'm a little bit freaked out just because of this noise. It's getting louder and louder and louder until I see what's making the noise. And I, I, at this time of the day, it's like dusk. It's like dusk. It's dusk out. Um, the sun has set. It's still light out. But now I see what's making that noise. And what I see is red lights and white lights over top of me. Oh, this ain't good. <laughs> this ain't good. Birdman says the hobby porter he joined up. Birdman is definitely a uh, jumper supporter. Um, <laughs> So, all right, we, we, got, we got this buzzing noise. I didn't know what it was. It comes over the top of my house. Now it's over top of my head. All I can see is four LED lights. I'm standing there like this, yelling, Kristen! That's my wife's name. Like, dude, I think I'm done. I, he, right, you say X-Files, no BS. I've never seen a drone. I've never heard of a drone before. I think I'm done. I think I'm getting sucked up into the spaceship. I'm yelling for my wife. That way she can know where I'm going. <laughs> no BS. Then it takes off. And then my wife comes out. And then I got to seem like I'm a lunatic and that there was just a UFO over top of my head. Um, <laughs> that was my first encounter with a drone. Right? So then, now, again, after that happened and the spacecraft zoomed off and I didn't get sucked up in the UFO... I'm still creeped out. I don't know what it was. I have no clue what it was. This thing, again, typically aircrafts, and again, without any prior knowledge of drones, typically aircrafts fly with perpetual motion. They fly in one constant path, like a plane does. This thing flew over my house, hovered, and took off that way. Right? It has to be a UFO. It has to be aliens. I'm geeking out. So I get on my computer, I type in, loud buzzing noise, four LEDs, guess what comes up? Drone, drone videos, what is this? And, and that's how, that's how, that's how 
my eyes were open to drones why, by thinking that I was going up to outer space <laughs> and then Googling my experience. Um, and then once I started watching, if anybody has a question about the T12 newer firmware, I can help sort out some issues. Um, yes, Birdman is, uh, he's been cracking on the T12. I know my way around the T12, but Birdman, I'm going to give it to him, which if we're talking about T8SGs, nobody knows the T8SG better than me. Um, but I will give the title over to Birdman that, uh, um, be, pr pr be proud of yourself, Jay. You are a great teacher. I'm happy to hear that. But, uh, yeah, we're going to give the title to knowing the T12 better than me, which I know the T12 pretty good, to Birdman. He's been cracking on it. Um, but T8SGs, nobody has that title. Nobody's getting that title. That's my title. <laughs> I, I, I've spent, uh, I probably spent a good half year on T8SG. Like, if we added up total time, I've probably had a good half year on it. Um, I had to dig in real deep, dude. Uh, I know, I know. And I've tried, I tried to help you a lot through Messenger. Me and Birdman talk a Messenger through Facebook and whatnot. But, um, he has, he's done a lot with the T8SG. He's learned the T8SG real well. He was frustrated with the T8SG in the start and now he's good with it and he likes it. Um, but yeah, so I mean, so then I get on YouTube and I see these drone videos and it's like, wow, that's cool. I want one. So I told my wife, and I got a great wife, and come Christmas, she gets me that drone, and dude, I promise you, for three to four months straight, every single day, knee deep in snow in my field, you guys know where I fly in my field, um, knee deep in snow, man, I'm flying drones, I absolutely love it, I still love it, it doesn't get old, for me, it doesn't get old, and I mean, if, if we're flying, if we're flying an 80 millimeter for proximity training, that's training. That's that's me practicing. That's uh, that's borderline not fun. I mean, it's fun, but it's literally practicing. It's trying to perfect a skill, to uh, to 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 taking the J drone out. And if you just checked in, if you don't know what the J drone is, this is the J drone. It's a custom build from Stan FPV. Um, to taking this out in open space and just flying acro. So that drone that buzzed your house. Do you know what kind? It was a Phantom. Um, absolutely. It was, uh, it was a DJI Phantom. It had to be a DJI Phantom because I live in a really small town. And since that, I've seen the drone and I haven't seen it often. I actually, I haven't seen it in like a year or so. Um, but since then, like maybe like months after I seen it cruising, it was, it was definitely a Phantom. It had to be a Phantom. I don't know what model Phantom. Um, I'm going to bank. It was probably a Vision. Um, it was probably a Phantom 2 at the time, because at the time, maybe like a year later, I got a Phantom 3, and the Phantom 3s were still being sold in Walmart, so they were still, so they were still pretty new. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bank it was probably a Phantom 2. Um, but yeah, I mean, from you flying here, I could even grab something really, like, dude, right there. That's as simplistic as it gets. And guess what? This is jumpable. This will go on the jumper. And that's why I keep it. Um, because this super simple SEMA X20 is still fun to fly. Um, on the stock controller, it wasn't really that fun to fly. It came with a small controller. But on a jumper, we brought new life into some of the, our things that we would have normally sh shelved. Um, Van City. Uh, so whoever that was need to thank the person routine. <laughs> Created a mean monster. Created a mean monster. Dude, I saw it. Yeah, dude, you, he needs to get a punch in his face, too. He could get a thank you and a punch in his face. Because I see my life. Like, I don't yell for my wife ever. Um, there could be a bear outside and let's go. <laughs> or I'm going to run. One or the other. Uh, I might be tough and, like, maybe if it's small, like, black bear or something, we might scrap. Um, uh, <laughs> or maybe I just run, right? Um, but uh, I, I, I'm pretty tough, dude. Pretty tough, dude. I, I generally don't call my wife for anything, um, but I promise you, I was calling my wife in fear. <laughs> like, please come out here, and uh, as I'm getting sucked up into this beam, please grab my leg and save me. <laughs> like that was the that that was what was going on in my brain. I promise you, it's crazy. Um, <laughs> so it, 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 a punch in the face and a thank you. That dude well deserves both. Because he, he, I was scared. I was terrified, dude. I don't think, and I don't scare easy. I'm trying to think, when have I ever been that scared in my life? 
I don't think I have. I don't, I, I, and it, <laughs> I don't think I have. Now I've been in some pretty hairy situations. You guys know I do abandoned videos. Um, they're pretty scary, especially when you come up across people in there. That's really scary. But uh, I'm usually good. I'm usually very well composed. I don't panic. I don't get overly, overly excited or whatnot. Um, I'm trying to think. I was in California climbing cliffs over ocean where if you slipped, you're dead. Even then, I wasn't that scared. I really wasn't that scared. Um, even the second abyss. If you guys watch my videos, I fly over the first abyss. The second abyss. I got stuck in that, dude. I got stuck in that for an hour and a half rock climbing. No ropes. <laughs> Free range rock climbing to the point where I thought maybe I'm not getting out of here. Um, like that's a really bad abyss. So you don't want to go down there. But even even that juncture, I don't think I was that scared. I, I don't think... I was that scared. I'm not seeing a whole lot of comments here. Um, I don't know if my uh, feed here is freezing up. Last thing I see is yay at Van City. Um, if that's the last comment, maybe somebody throw a thumbs up. Maybe I'm not missing anything. But uh, yeah, I was terrified, man. I was super terrified. But as far as drones goes, it doesn't matter. Mini brush to full acro. I absolutely love it. Um, and hopefully... A lot of you guys stick with it. I know there's a lot of guys that come in and come out, lose interest. And that's what everybody told me. That is what everybody told me, dude. They said, you're going to lose interest in it because that's how I am. Um, hi, we are here. Bamzo. Bamzo, bamzo. Except. <laughs> um, all right, you guys are still here. Cool. Um, but yeah, so I mean, that's that, that was my encounter. It was kiss your butt goodbye. You are going to get a probe. And hopefully you'll make it back to this earth. <laughs> that that was my encounter, man. And it's 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 true story. It's not made up. And to this date, I can remember the fear that I felt. And it, it's sad. It's not sad, but I mean, that's that's with that mind. Again, I live in a very small neighborhood. I I I mind my own business. I go to work. I I work out a little. I. That's it. I mean, that's my life, man. Uh, I travel a little bit and never encountering a drone and being, being, do you have a, any fixed wing stuff? I have one or, all right. Hmm. Hmm. I have, I have a fixed wing kind of uh, Star Wars type thing. Um, I have a fixed wing in the box that I have not put together because of my last fixed wing encounter. <laughs> um, if uh, I don't know, let's see. I don't know if I could pull that video up. Um, I had a fixed wing that was supposed to be the easiest fixed wing for a beginner to fly, and it went horribly. J drone. Let's type in J drone plane. Let's see if that'll come up. J drone plane did not come up. Um, maybe I'll type in fixed wing, or maybe I'll just type in wing. Um, I'm trying to find a video for you guys. It's uh, kind of comical, and I don't think it is. I don't think I'm going to come up on it. I can't remember what it was called. Um, but uh, Cigar Nation Warriors, what's going on? What do you do? Are you a YouTuber, or are you just a viewer? Um, again, I'm intrigued by your tag. Um, I'm very intrigued by your tag, to the point where I kind of want to click on it. Can I click on it? No, I can't click on it. I'm copying it. I want to see what Cigar Warrior does. Maybe he's just a viewer, or maybe he's like this dope cigar channel. Cigar Warriors, Cigar Nation Warriors. You do post. What do you got going on here? Cigars, smoking? I'll give you a sub. I'll give you a little sub, my brother. Um, you haven't posted in a while, but I'll give you a little sub. That way I could check in on your videos that you got posted. Um, I'm always intrigued with uh, interesting titles like Van City. Me and Van City kind of went a little bit back and forth trying to figure out why he's Van City. Clearly Hobby Porter checked in. I know why Hobby Porter's Hobby Porter. Um, Birdman, I don't know why. I, I could only assume Birdman because drones, we call them birds and whatnot. Or maybe he likes birds. I never asked him that. But Birdman's a good friend of mine. Um, Northwood Media Works. Um, what do you do? Let's go check you out. Now I'm just checking you guys out. I'm creeping you guys. <laughs> I am creeping, you guys. Let's go ahead and uh, my stuff is country nature. Really? I'm checking you out anyway. Um, country nature. 38 subscribers, 50 videos. 
just uploaded two weeks ago. HD and D filter. So you fly drones. That's why you're watching J Drone. You fly drones. Um, I'm going to smash you a sub. Um, subscription added. And I will definitely check you out later as well. Um, that's cool. So you're more cinematic. Um, first drone is a Sky Viper Pro Eagle 3. Sky Rider Pro Eagle 3. Okay. Um, the Eagle Pro was a present from Stepmom. Love that one. Um, Sky Beards and Hammer. Yeah, I got the beard. I don't got no hammer around me, though. Um, Sky Viper, smoking cigars and running and gunning. I like it. Let's upload some more, brother. It's been a little while. Um, Beards Rule, flying cameras is what snagged me. Nice. Again, it, it's, for me, I, and that's why people said, you're going to lose interest, Jason. Um, J-Drone, clearly. I'm J-Drone. I just gave you my first name. Uh-oh. Really not worried about it. A lot of you guys know my first name. Small town here, brother. Less than 250 in t my town. Maybe 500 in the one next to me. I don't know population here. It's pretty small. Um, I could probably find it out. Let's find out. I want to know the population of my town. Uh, we are going to click here. We are going to click on all and not pictures. 533. There's 533 in my town. And what did you say you had in your town? 250. Yeah, you got a small town. My town is small, dude. Um, maybe I got a lot of people living in houses and whatnot. Um, love your honesty with drone reviews. Absolutely. We've talked about that, too. If you just chimed in, um, I rattled on about other <laughs> other YouTubers that I absolutely can't stand because they weren't truthful about the reviews and whatnot. But, um... Yeah, that's a Cigar Nation Warriors. Guns and cigars. I would watch that, dude. Put something together. Um, get some get some content out there, man. Uh, if you have time. If you don't have time. Have you ever had problems with Promark Shadow? I don't I don't have the Promark Shadow. So and let me look it up. I'm pretty sure that's like a potensic clone or the potensic clone that. Promark Shadow. Promark Shadow. I did have the Promark Shadow. I had it. I think I did an unboxing of it, but it never worked for me. It never worked for me. Um, I'll link that video. That should be easy to find. J Drone Pro Mark. I'm just typing Promark. It's probably the only one that I have. Right there. Um, GPS. Nope. I did a quick charge, which actually might have hurt the battery. Um, so no, I'm not going to link that. Um... But I can't see how it would have hurt the battery because it was a smart charger. But, uh, yeah, my battery never worked. My, my, or the drone never turned on. The battery seemed to work fine and check the voltage and whatnot. But um, the, I, I ended up taking it back. I got that on Walmart on a Black Friday for $100. Uh, so I never had any issues with it. I'm disabled vet happy just to get stick time. Not in your league, though. Dude. Stick time is stick time. I don't care if you're playing on these sticks, all plastic. I don't care if you're playing on fancy plastic. I don't care if you're playing on some metal gimbals. I don't care if you're playing on hall gimbals. If you're flying, you're a friend of mine. If you're flying, there is no level. There's no level comparison in my book. Um, I'm very humble for you to say not on your level or whatever. And I can understand it. I have a lot of stick time, but, um, it's, it, that's, I don't look at things that way. Like, uh, I had, I had friends from Pittsburgh. Um, every time you fly, you get better. You do. Um, you really do. Every time you fly, you get better. And especially if you're, like I said, I'm flying proximity with this. I'm practicing and that's what I'm doing. I'm practicing. I'm really not flying for the enjoyment. I'm flying to build my skill on this. Um, where I fly for enjoyment is in wide open air, wide open air. I know how to fly like that, dude. I've mastered that. Um, and I thoroughly enjoy doing that, but I would like to progress my skill and be able to fly around tight cores. I'd, I'd be, I'd like to be able to go round and round and round a tree in acro, which is easier said than done. Um, and that's, that's, that's where I'm at as a pilot. Um, but as far as a YouTuber, I still want to be that dude who gets, toy grade stuff in i still want to be that dude that informs you this is a good drone it's a little overpriced the camera is good it could be better bam uh <laughs> um let's see 
Brother, it's been entertaining as always, but off to bed. Got nice place to fly. Nice. Nice places always work. Definitely post up on drone days or drone exclusive. Sierra Vista, Arizona. My Lord, 43,000. Uh-uh. <laughs> no. Uh, when I was younger, I liked big cities. I don't like big cities anymore. Um, nothing against big cities. Uh, if I'm going in a big city, I'd like to hand over my keys to a ballet. <laughs> and I'm more than happy to walk around big cities. I don't like driving in big cities. But, uh, yeah, that's, wow. Here, let, let's, the next town next to me probably has a couple thousand in it. Um, Two thousand one hundred and eighty-two. The next town next to me, the closest city to me, has twenty-four thousand seven hundred and twenty-three, and that's the city that I work in. Um, that to me is a small city. I don't know what you said yours was. Yours is almost double that. Um, I saw a video today by Rotor Riot featuring Cricket FPV and your boy asking which people like better oh we could talk about that i've seen that video too i like that video um it's been a long summer waiting for faa to get off their butts uh i work in toronto three million my lord three million jeez louise um <clears throat> all right check it out check it out so we're going to do a poll. Rotor Riot did this. They had a great video on it. The, the video was good. I watched the entire video. Very rarely do I watch an entire video because you, you really got to be entertaining to catch me, um, to, to hold me in. Um, thumbs? Here. Let's, we'll do it on toy grade controller. We don't need a, uh, a real controller. Let's see. Are the sticks good? Sticks good? Can you see the sticks? All right. So are you a thumber? Are you a thumber or are you a pincher? Thumber or pincher? We're not going to get tired. I don't want to explain that. <laughs> are you a thumber or a pincher? Well, lay it down. We got 23 people, 23 people in a post. 38,000 British code. 700,000. Oh, my Lord. Um, Mike Dronefields, what is going on, brother? Happy to see you here. Uh, I thumb drones and pinch fixed wings. Bam! So that's... The, we're going to get to something. We're going to get to my opinion anyway. Uh, thumber all the way uh, to the... <laughs> He's thumbing to the ground. Crash and burn. Um, and smoke a cigar and go out to the shooting range. Uh, I Dude, I haven't been to a shooting range in forever. My, my friend that it, I, the last I sh used to shoot with, one of my good friends, he actually ended himself, unfortunately. I was really depressed about it. But that's what I used to go to the shooting range with. I used to love going to the shooting range. Um, trying to pinch more, but still find my thumbs on the sticks. Um, anybody else? Anybody else want to chime in? And then I'm going to give my input definitely like to hear what other people are doing like what, what uh, clearly and uh, well i didn't bam <laughs> jeff didn't type nothing <laughs> simple emoji tells it all um i'm gonna i'm gonna let a couple more people get in i swapped the bugs three mini frame i want to see it with i flight four I, I swapped the Bugs 3 mini frame with an iFlight 4 inch. I want to see it. I'm a thumber. Pinching doesn't feel natural. I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. A couple more people get in on what you're doing. Uh, we fill watermelons with cordite. And what is that? Cordite? What is cordite? I don't know what cordite is. Um, my micro drone, micro drone fiend videos. Do you link? You got permission, dude. Link. If you have a video of that build, please link it. Um, let's see. Hold on. Where are we at here? I want to see what something is. He's filling watermelons with cordite, and I don't know what cordite is, so we're going, going over to Google. I want to know what cordite is. Cordite is a family of smokeless propellants developed in production in the United Kingdom since 1985 to replace gunpowder. Ah, like gunpowder, cordonite is class. <laughs> so you're filling water mellings with explosives <laughs> and shooting them, and boom! Um, that's ex dude. Put it on your YouTube video that, please. I will watch that. You will get tons of views on that, I'm sure. 
Um, my best friend used to go shooting with, did the same thing to himself, so sorry. Yeah, I, it's, sucks, 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 sucks. Dude, he lived two blocks away from me. It was, it's weird. I met him, like, when I was 19. We moved away from each other. I hadn't heard from him for, like, two months, just circumstance, and magically, he's two blocks next to me. Um, we made plans to do stuff and to have a cookout, and he helped me with one of my Cadillacs and disappeared, and bam, literally, bam. And that's all I'm going to say about that. But uh, we have slow-mo of it somewhere. Post it, brother, dude. People love slow-mo. Post it. People love explosion. Dude, your channel can blow up. See what I did there? <laughs> Hoping to use my drones to film me uh, at range busting caps. Dude, that, I even thought about that. I thought about putting a G, rock solid GPS drone going to a gun range and just unloading and having the drone like right here catching it hitting stuff. That'd be dope. All right, so we got lots of thumbers. Um, well, and they're hybrid. Um, not many pinchers. Okay, so we're going to start from the beginning. And we can. We can. We absolutely can. We can start really beginning if I go back there, but we're not going to go back there. So let's start from the beginning. I'm going to reach down and grab something. Ah, I'm reaching down, I'm reaching down, I'm reaching down. I got it. All right. So the beginning isn't quite here. The beginning for a lot of people is an Atari, and then a Nintendo, and then a Sega, which I have all that stuff in here. The Sega's actually down there. I don't see the controller for it. But then we have this. And what do we do on this? We are when we were when we were playing, these these are designed to be thumb pads, these analogs. Um, and at one point these analogs weren't there. <coughs> you weren't sitting like this playing <laughs> your game. It's it's unnatural. They would have had taller sticks on it if it was meant to do that. So it was designed for thumbs, okay? Um, about to order Bugs 4W. What are your opinion on the drone? The Bugs 4W is a good... Wait, 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 wait. I'm confusing my drones. Hold on. I don't want to misinform you. Bugs 4W. I think that's the one that I usually... No. Uh, no. Nah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. What are you going to pay for it? Let me know what you're going to pay for it. Then I'll tell you if you should buy it or not. Um... What are you going to pay for it? But anyway, back to this while uh, Keys says about the drone. Um, what he's going to pay for it. And then I'm going to tell him if he should buy it or not. Uh, so, And I'll tell him why. So typically, we start off thumbing. Even on a normal controller like this, where we had these and we had these. Um, what are your top two, three drones for newbies like me? Uh, I see people using Turnite here in the U.S. <laughs> Yeah. Um, exactly, and that's why most people are thumbers because over here we're not pinching, we're not pinching our our buttons. There's no way to pinch a button. Um, we are thumbing our buttons. Even when we was just a D pad or directional pad, we were thumbing it. There was no way to pinch it. Um, I think it did, don't buy it. No, uh -uh. keys do not buy it. Uh, what you are buying is a GPS drone from from uh, MJX that's brushless. Do you have the Bugs 2W? If you don't have the Bugs 2W, get that instead. That's my personal opinion. The camera on, on that drone that you're looking at is not great. The flyability is not great. I'm telling you how it is. I like MGX, but their last two drones that they have come out with have not been superior. Um, Tannerite is used here in Canada. See, I've never heard of that before. Uh, more and a lot easier to get. That's crazy. See, it's pretty easy to get gunpowder here. Like, we can go to Walmart and get gunpowder. Um, right on things. Right. I mean, that's my honest opinion, bro. Um, if, if you have a Bugs 2 and you're looking for another MJX drone and you're looking for it specifically for the camera, my next suggestion would be the Bugs 5. The Bugs 5, whatever it is. Um, uh, where is it? I don't see it. It should be in here. I don't see it. It's, it's hiding somewhere. But the Bugs 5 would be my next one, man. Um, and even price point. The price point is lower on that, too. Um, you, 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 you don't want to spend $200 on that one. You'll probably be disappointed. And that, it's just what it is. And MGX probably not going to like me for that because they want to sell their new stuff. But I don't, own, I don't have the drone. If I did have the drone, I would have a better perspective on it. But I have watched reviews on it. So anyway, back to back to Pinterest. Um, I love my Holy Stone Predator. Your review was dead on. Nice. 
Um, I like Holy Stone stuff too. A lot of their whole, a lot of stuff is overpriced, but they do make decent drones. Um, but anyway, top drones, top four drones, then we'll get back to pinching uh, or thumbing. Top four drones for a beginner. You're, you're gonna want a, you're, you're gonna want a SEMA X5C. Um, get a SEMA X5C. They're very durable, and they don't come with split blade props. They come with a straight prop. Um, get an X5C. You're gonna be able to beat on it. You're gonna be able to learn the basics of flight. Okay, get an X5C. Um, after that, after that, if you can master an X5C, the next thing I would highly recommend for your flight skills to master is a Hubson H107C. Um, Hubson H107C, I have one right here without propellers on. And I don't know why there's a motor stuck to it. For a beginner, Hubson H107C has a 2 megapixel camera on it. Make sure you get the 2 megapixel camera. It's definitely worth it. This thing's small. It's, it's considerably smaller than the other one. Well, why would I want a smaller drone? It has direct feed motors versus brush to brush, to brush gear. Yard Jockey Roy. That's my uncle. Say Everybody say, hi, Uncle Roy. <laughs> What's going on? And Yard Jockey Roy, if you guys want to see some uh, 4x4 stuff, he posts a little bit over there, too. Go check him out. If you're in the quads, if you're in the off-road, and definitely check him out. He would definitely appreciate it. If you want to smash the sub button on his channel, that'd be great. But uh, so the second drone that I would highly recommend for a beginner is a Hubson H107C. If you've mastered the Sky, or if you've mastered the SEMA X5C, go to this one um, because you've mastered this. This has a lot more pep to it. It's a little bit smaller. It will get you to be able to fly line of sight. Um, it'll get you to be able to figure out your orientation when you're flying away from yourself. That you now have to reverse your controls to go left to right. So then, if you master this, then you need to go to a Bugs 3. Um, and we have a Bugs 3 clone next to me that fell off the shelf. Ah! Which is a... This is the F-100 Ghost Drone. So you can go Bugs 3, F-100 Ghost Drone. There's a couple other makers out of here. I would suggest going Bugs 3. It's the cheapest. You could get them around $60 to $70. Um, I tried three Tims. I tried three Tims, but I think it's blocking the link oh you tried three times on that swap let me go find it let me go find it so we need a fourth one what do you get after your fourth one what do you get after your fourth one that's on you that's my three tier i'm not going to give you a fourth one um that's my three tier uh, for beginners for beginners x5c h107c and then get a bugs three after that you know how to fly a, a, a gyro stabilized drone if you want to go into acro that's a whole line we could talk about that if you want to go into cinematic video we can talk about right, once you hit those three you are ready to expand because you then know the basics of flying a drone and you know the basics of controlling a drone because if you can master h107c you then move on to a brushless drone which is the bugs and once you master that, which it takes a while to master that, once you master that, you're ready for just about anything. You're ready for about anything. And if you're going to dive into acro, you have a 2S battery that you've been playing with. You have a little bit of speed underneath you. Um, so I'm on Micro Drone Fields video, Micro Drone Fiends video. I'm going to videos. I'm trying to look for his mod. There it is. Dude, I was looking at this video last night. No word to lie. I was looking at this video last night. Not lying. I'm copying it. I'm pasting it. Everybody else can look at it. Then we'll get back to thumbing. That's crazy. I was. I was like, here, look. I'm 54 seconds into the video. That's how far that I got into it. I was kind of hoping to see more of a build. Um, next time you do a build, let's let's do a step by step. If you could, that'd be great. Um, but I'm copying it. I will definitely give you a little bit of exposure. Hobby Porter got a run. Stay tuned to J Drone. Yeah, stay tuned to J Drone because I have I have a a small gift from Hobby Porter that I'm going to share with you guys within the next day or so. Um, thanks for giving me options. Going to be sleeping in the garage after I buy these drones. Buy one of them, brother. Buy one of them. Um, get one of them, and then maybe a week or two later, or a month later, 
so you don't got to sleep in the garage and get the other one. <laughs> um, Hobby Porter, see you later. Everybody say bye to Hobby Porter. Definitely appreciate Hobby Porter. Um, the brains behind the jumper. Um, let's see where we are. You can get a Blue Bugs $359. Absolutely. Um, times LOL. Uh, do, 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 coupon when you check out. There you go. So Bugs 3 is definitely the way to go if you're going to go with that. There's the link. That link right down there is what uh, myself and Micro Drone Fiend Videos was talking about. He took his Bugs 3, which is basically this drone right here, and he put it on a carbon frame, kind of like what I did. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're losing. We're losing. Hold on. I got it. Kind of like what I did with that Bugs 3, uh, Bugs 3 recently. Hopefully that stays there. Is it moving? I don't know if it's moving. It's moving a little. Uh, maybe I could get something behind there. And then we need to finish our conversation about pension. And then I think, uh, I think we we're going to end the speed. This was an amazing feed. You guys were great. Um, just so I don't have to sleep in the garage. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm going to try to put this behind there. Excuse me. Just gotta put this like right behind there. Damn, so that might keep it from tipping back. We might be orientated up just a little bit, but I don't think it's going to move anymore. Yes. Okay, so what are we talking about? Um, thank you, Jay. I will do a better bit video. Yeah, absolutely, dude. Um, that's, again, like I've, like I've conveyed, I like to help people out. I like to give people ideas, but I'd also, I like to give people the knowledge to be able to do what I'm doing. Um, just as well as I would like the knowledge to do what you did. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I can figure it out, but I would like to see what you did. Um, I, I would like to see exactly how you did it. So maybe I can modify it, or maybe I can go blueprint, blueprint, and do the same exact thing. Um, but all right, so... We started on gaming controllers. I know my uncle, if he's still in here, Yard Jockey, he started off with one stick and a button on the Atari. Um, thanks, Jay. Got to hit the hey. Great show. Absolutely. Um, so, but what, what do we do with that Atari? We had our hand like this, and we had one button, right? We, had, we were thumbing the button, right? And then we go to this. We go from a D-pad to this. We are thumbing directional pad to this. Then we go to analog pads, and we are thumbing. We are trained to thumb. We are. We're trained to thumb controllers. Um, Atari. Bamzo, see? Yard Jockey said it. Atari. Um, I remember going over his house when I was a kid and seeing the Atari there. I think, do I still own an Atari? I don't know if I own an Atari. Hmm. I have a Sega, I have a Nintendo, I have a Super Nintendo. I don't know if I have an Atari anymore. I collect uh, old, 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 old systems. Um, had the two fingers. Uh, see, I'm not very traversed with every Atari model. I know there was a bunch of uh, Atari models that had came out. So, we, we're, we're trained with our thumbs, and that's why most people fly with their thumbs. Then, we transition to a toy-grade controller. What do we do? We, we get on our thumbs right? Rotor Riot had a video today, and um, Cricket, Cricket said, uh, thumbs are dumb. Thumbs are dumb. What do you do? And I like, I, again, I found it humorous. I watched the entire video. Um, what do you do with your thumbs? You don't really do anything with your thumbs, do you? Um, when, when you're texting, or you're not really using, I mean, maybe some people are. Do you guys text with your thumbs? <laughs> I don't. I I point and whatnot. Um, hey guys, Ishin EX2 Mini can be had for around 35 bucks. Bucks. Hit brother Perth West Oz for the videos. Uh, for the details, bam! Shout out brother J. Uh, so there you go. You could get a brushless mini drone for 35 dollars, which is pretty epic. Um, but does anybody text using their thumbs? I'm very curious about that. I never even thought about that myself. Even typing. Um, typing, the only thing that my thumbs are for is the space. Is the space. I'm typing in space. Space. Um, so Cricket said, uh, true, I bought the deal he posted. Um, so Cricket had said thumbs are dumb. They don't do anything. What, they, can anybody name anything that thumbs do besides thumbs up <laughs> and hit the space bar? Um, I don't think our thumbs are really doing anything. Thumbs give you the ability to pick things up and hold on. Um, they do. But without a thumb, 
I can hold on to this. I don't need my thumb to hold on to this. Yeah, I don't even need my pointer finger to hold on to this. Right? So, I mean, I mean, drone. Drone, I can do with two fingers. I'm not discrediting what you said. Um, picking nose. You don't pick your nose with your thumb, do you? Nobody picks their nose with their thumb. I, I mean, you don't pick your nose. You, I, I'm not going to shove it in there, but I mean... Nobody's picking their nose with their thumb. Come on, nobody's doing that. RC, RC Escape says it acro is better than Bugs 3 Mini. Um, I haven't tested that. I haven't tested uh, haven't tested the Ishin versus the Bugs 3 Mini on acro. But can anybody else, what are we doing with our thumbs? And then we're going to continue this, then I'm going to end this, and that's going to be the end of the show. <laughs> uh, are we doing anything else with our thumbs? Um... Besides hitting a space bar, for me, I think it's more about size of the controller. I'm going to get to that. I'm getting to that. I promise you I'm getting to that, too. Um, I'm just curious if anybody's doing anything with your thumbs. I mean, you don't wipe your butt with your thumb, do you? I mean, you get your toilet paper on your fingers, I would assume, and give a, little, give a wipe a roo, right? You're not giving it a thumb a <laughs> Um That may sound silly, but pinch. This may... Right. But that's, so, so we pinch with our thumbs, right? And essentially that's what we're transitioning. That's what a lot of freestyle flyers are doing. They're, they're, they're putting, I don't know if you can see that. They're putting their pointer fingers as a guide and it's just allowing, right? So that's what they're doing. They're kind of pinching, but they're not, they're not. I don't think they're pinching like that. They, some people might be pinching like that. Um, but pinching, yes. We do pinch with our thumbs, kind of. Um, I use my thumbs for your videos. Bam! That's a great way to use your thumb. Everybody else, make sure you're using your thumbs. <laughs> thumbs are not dumb. Hit that hit that, hit that. that thumbs up button. But, uh, all right. So, let's move on. We, nobody's really said anything that they've done physically with their thumbs. Um, what would you tell sailors to put... <laughs> Probably that one or this one. <laughs> but, um, all right. So, and if any, and I'm not, here, let's clarify that. We're not talking about people who sail ships. We are talking about YouTubers that are in the RC game. Just so we don't get some shipmen on here or women that are actual sailors. And we didn't just offend a whole bunch of, a whole, whole class of working people per se. Um, I used to hitchhike, right? So, I mean, we're doing very minimal with our thumbs, but our thumbs have been conditioned to play video games. So when we get into the drone industry, we use our thumbs. We're on a controller about this size. Look at my, or here, look at my hand. See the controller anymore? Not really, <laughs> right? Not really. So on a controller, and I have large hands. So on a controller this size, what's up? Yeah, I already, I already went over that. I can grasp stuff without my thumbs. No, no. It makes it easier. My wife just came in to say we grasp, we have thumbs to grasp stuff. Which yes, if we're using our thumb versus our whole hand, like you need your whole hand to grasp stuff. If you don't have your thumb, um, nothing. Right, exactly. <laughs> it has nothing to do with any any working class people. The comment that we just said about sticking thumbs up somebody's rear and whatnot um <laughs> um so all right so and cigar nation warrior says hi to the wife hi. she says hi so this is a small controller i mean sure if you have small hands this is going to differ but for me for me to pinch on this my hands are going to cramp up they're going to cramp up i've tried it they're what okay Okay, one of my dogs might start barking. Don't be alarmed. Um, but this this is this is uncomfortable for me with this small controller, right? Um, so pinching on, in, we'll even grab a jumper. We'll grab a uh, good night again. <laughs> good night, brother. So we'll grab a hobby grade style controller, um, multi protocol T8SG has hall gimbals. Um, this is a dope dope controller. But again, what we're dealing with is there's there's my hand do you see the controller not really it's about the same size as that toy grade controller 
Um, right? So, hey, J Drone, great to see you live. It is great to hear from you live. Um, definitely happy to hear from you live. We are talking about pinching and thumbing. So even even on a more hobby grade style, I'm thumbing. It doesn't matter if I'm flying acro. It doesn't matter if I'm flying stability mode. I'm thumbing, and that's because again, I have large hands. Look, look, look at where my look at where my pointer fingers are. I mean, they're not quite touching, but they're close, and my hands going to cramp up. I can't do it now. I don't have my T16 in here, but this Hubson controller is about the same size as, as a Tyrannus or a T16 as far as width goes. So now we can put my hand behind it, okay? And you can still see the controller. Um, it's wider than my hand with it open. So now on something like this, this is comfortable. If I decide I want to, and again, look at my pointer fingers. They are way far apart now. My hands aren't cramped. My hands aren't cramped at all. I can pinch now. I can pinch and be comfortable with it. And I can do so. And I have. I don't do it often. But that's that's where I was getting at. With uh, I can back him on that. The radio is king. I got the same one. Absolutely. You need a certain so people can see the goods. You need a... No, no, no. They can't see the goods. You would have to be, I think, eight feet tall, maybe nine feet tall, um, to see in that window. So nobody's seeing the goods. The only thing you can see from that window occasionally, which you guys can't see on camera, I have a jukebox that stands pretty high. If the power goes out, my lights go off on my jukebox. That you can kind of see. And maybe a couple of the drones that are in the window, you can see that. But as far as everything in the room, you can't see what's in the room. And there's also a camera up there <laughs> so i'm not too worried about it um i still have some difficulty with non-altitude hole drones what helps um we'll deviate away from that uh away from what we were talking about just to talk about that so non-altitude hole drones if you have an altitude hole drone do i have an i don't do i have an altitude hold controller you would think i'd have an here this mjx one does it go altitude no um, I have to have an altitude hold controller here. Here, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Birdman says, what up, RC? I said, what up, RC? So I'm grabbing an altitude hold controller. If you guys don't know the difference between an altitude hold controller, your throttle stick is centered, okay? So this makes things easy. I'm flying, I'm flying, I'm flying. Bam, I can let go and it remains at altitude but you're not holding it like that it's usually around your neck hanging or not even holding the controller myself i don't i don't ever wear a neck thing um i always hold i always hold my controllers um myself i don't i don't wear a neck thing um one of my friends told me i should wear a neck thing i might try wearing a neck thing but i generally always hold my controllers um, practice, practice, managing throttle. And that's what I'm getting to. So you don't have to manage throttle on an altitude hold thing. You've trained yourself to not manage throttle on altitude hold thing. Here's Birdman's controller. It is non-altitude. So what you need to do is just easy on the sticks. Easy on the sticks. If you are flying around like a madman, yeah, 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 your drone is going, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going the way you're flying. Um, but if you if you just chill, easy on the sticks. At that point, your drone is almost at a midpoint. Like if you have it in the middle, it's going to slowly go up or slowly go down depending on where you are towards your midpoint. So that's 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 my my suggestion. Like even Bugs 3s. A lot of people, wow, you make that Bugs 3 look so stable, I can't get it. It's always going up and down. You just have to be really easy on the sticks. If you're if you're gonna mash the sticks, the drone's gonna mash. Um, but back to back to pinching. So the 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 video the video showed somebody cricket who's an excellent pincher, um, and an, he's an excellent flyer. If you don't know who cricket is, he's a dope flyer. I don't know anybody else in the video, so I can't drop names of anybody else in the video. But it showed another dude who's a very comparable flyer who thumbs right right 
And this is where it comes into play because even me, if, I, if I'm switching to pinching, there's a reason I'm switching to pinching. It's for precision. Um, it is definitely for precision and the video showed it. You had a traditional, not Cricket, the other dude, you had a traditional thumber ripping around, ripping around. Cricket said switch to, switch to pinching, right? Switch to pinching. He did. He started hitting gaps, and gaps are open spaces that you fly through, like little open windows or whatever. Those are called gaps. You're gapping something with your drone. That's what a gap is. He's flying, he's pinching, flying through gaps, and he's doing really well. And then Cricket says, go, uh, go do that thumbing. And this is a thumber. This is a dude that does not want to pinch, that thumbs, that flies excellent thumbing. And guess what? He was no longer, uh, things get crazy when I start yawning while trying to practice reverse right stick for orientation. Part of the fun way, exactly. Um, but uh, he, so a traditional thumber now doing the same thing he did while pinching is now hitting stuff. Eh? So, so there, there to me, and that's what I've always thought. If you are, if you are pinching, it should be for precision. If, if you are ripping around, you should probably use thumbs but it's 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 up to you guys there there's no standard it is definitely up to you guys on what you want to do and what size your controller is and what size your hands are maybe you have small hands again i have fairly large hands um maybe you have a uh, harder to pinch if you need to hold the controller um i can see that i i can definitely see that Again, I have fairly large hands, so to have something resting in my hand, pinching, isn't too much of an issue. Um, obviously, it would take a little bit, uh, a little bit of gravity, a little bit of, a little bit of stress off of my hands if it was just chilling here off of a lanyard. I do see that, and I think uh, he was banging. Yeah, he was. He was banging his way through the through the gaps, uh, thumbing, and he's traditional thumber where he was icing them, pinching. Um, but yeah, I see about the lanyard. My one friend told me you should be using a lanyard. I've never really used a lanyard. Um, my brother uses a lanyard on the Alcenma. <laughs> Alcenma CG035, he uses a lanyard on that. Um, Mr. Steely is hybrid. If you guys don't know who Steely is, he's pretty dope. Um, when you're thumbing, when you flew in the recent video at the Abandoned Mine video, I was. I was not pinching. Um, pinching would have helped. <laughs> pinching would have helped. Um, it would have, it really would have because, uh, I, I'm going slower if I'm pinching and again, it's more precision. If I'm thumbing, I'm going faster. Now the video that's going to come out tomorrow is of this drone, this drone, my graffiti T8SG, I can only pinch with the neck strap flying fixed wing movements are so sensitive and get very in and I got an old, very large transmitter. I hear it, man. I definitely hear it. Um, and I can uh, completely understand it. Uh, my, my next video is ripping. And again, if you're on drone days, you've already seen the video. Um, ripping around trees. Just figure eights, circles and whatnot. Doing proximity acro training. And I was thumbing. But I was trying to rip. I wasn't trying to chill flight around them. Um, and I don't think pinching in that case would have helped me. Uh, maybe it would have. I don't know. Maybe it would have. So that, that, that's where I'm at on pinching versus thumbing. I think if you can master both, like, like in that video, there was a girl, I called him, uh, the crazy man in the FPV and he, he dug it. Um, there, there was a girl who on there in the, in the last part of the video who where 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 cricket said it's hard to switch like if you're flying thumb and, and then bam let's switch it up and then bam let's switch it up just going back and forth i don't know you weren't able to see my hands you're flying thumbs then switch it up to that and then switch it up to that during flight um he found it hard to do so just as well as the other dude who was a traditional thumber found it hard to do the female that was flying said she doesn't have an issue with it and she does it quite often during flight and Cricket kind of said that's not good or whatever. Myself, again, I'm no pro. I'm no pro. He's kind of a pro. I'm no pro. Myself, I would like to disagree and agree with the female that was in the video. If you can do that and if you can perfect precision and then you can perfect balls to the wall per se, 
I think that's the best of both worlds, and I think I think that's the way to fly. And I think I might start practicing during flight precision for small gaps, and then getting out into the open, and then back to thumbing. Um, I think for me, for me, I think that's I mean the best of both worlds is the best of both worlds, plain and simple. The best of both things, the best of any two things is the best of both worlds and that's it is what it is there's no argument there but um i mean there is an argument eh? because clearly cricket said there was an argument where if if you sh i don't know i don't i i i don't know um my argument is the best of both worlds is the best of both worlds plain and simple um stingy is the thumber too i don't know who stingy is was that the other dude in the video but uh, all right, guys, I'm going to end this. Hopefully, you guys appreciated the video. Does anybody have any other questions, comments, concerns? As we were talking about the thumbs, if you haven't thrown a thumbs to this video, get them thumbs up. Get them thumbs up. I definitely appreciate it. If anybody has any other questions, now's the time to do it. Again, tomorrow's video, um, we'll go ahead and get the proximity training that I've been doing for myself with this drone. Uh, we'll definitely get that out. Hit that like button, absolutely. Hit the like button. Check each other out, man. Um, check each other out. If, if you guys are YouTubers. There's other YouTubers in here that are posting. Definitely build a community. And, and, and I mean, it doesn't have to be surrounded by me by any means. Um, if it is, if it starts with me and you expand into an outer community because of me, that's dope. Um, but uh, a, a YouTube community is awesome. Yeah, it's definitely awesome. Um, he's the guy with the pretty big beard. Uh, pretty big beard, huh? I got a pretty big beard. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I know who you mean in the video. Again, I don't follow. I don't follow the hype of uh, of anything. I don't follow the hype of anything. That's why I don't have a Tyrannus. I've been thinking about getting a Tyrannus, though. I've been really thinking about getting a Tyrannus. Um, I don't, I don't know why. I just have one because I think I should have one. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Drone days and drone exclusive. Definitely join up. Absolutely. Um, what's the group again? Drone day. Here, I got you. I got you. I'm on the computer. I could, I can link it for you. Um, I'm going to give you drone days first. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Drone days. We have... Let's see, I'll give you a little bit of information on Drone Days. Drone Days is a worldwide group that has 24,184 members and 152 people waiting to be approved to the group, which I have not approved yet. The link is coming your way in three, two, one, hitting paste, bamzo, bamzo. And then we will, uh, anyone is welcome to stop by my channel. I can show that, I'm going to show that. There's no reason why not to show that. Um, that's Drone Days. The first link is Drone Days. If you have a dollar, if you have a dollar for me, if you have a dollar for appreciation as me as a creator, join this group. Join this next link I'm going to send you. It's a dollar a month. And I promise you, I'll do giveaways in there. And I didn't talk about it, but we're going to do a custom build from Stan FPV. I'm going to have him do a budget FPV acro build. And I'm going to give it away in there. I'm going to give it away in there. Um... So you're going to want to be a part of that for a dollar. Somebody could get a pretty dope drone, a uh, custom drone. Um, bah, 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 we used to call that kind of beard Fu Manchu. Don't know if any of you remember Charlie Chan. I don't, uh, but I have been remarked like a Chinese beard, and Fu Manchu kind of sounds like a Chinese name. Um, drone exclusives. We are going to get that for you, the link for that. I really strongly encourage you guys to join it. It's $1 a month to thank me for what I do for you guys. And if you don't want to join it, that's fine. Join Drone Days. It's free, but $1. $1. I definitely drone expansive. Exclusive. We are up to... We have... Down, 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 down. 73 members. 73 members in the group. The group is still young. I would like to see the group around 200. If it were to explode, big things would happen. But 200 is my goal. Uh, 100 was my initial goal, but I think that's sitting in the bar a little bit low. 200 would be it. Bamzo, this link coming at you right now is drone exclusive. Click it. Join it. $1 to JDrone a month. There's no Patreon. There's no $20 membership or anything. $1. $1 a month to JDrone. 
Um, but all right, guys. Uh, before we go, do you want to see the rest of my drone room? Do you want me to do a pan around my drone room for you guys? That'd be a good way to end the video, I think so. Um, if not, say no, three no's, and I'm just going to end it. And if you want me to do a little pan around my drone room, let me get three yeses. Three yeses, and uh, and uh, and we'll just do a little pan around. You get to see the rest of the walls. You'll get to see my floor, which you won't be able to see my floor because there are drones all over my floor. <laughs> um, kind of waiting for, and I know there's a delay. There's a, there's a horrible delay on this. Um, so I'm gonna be waiting a couple seconds here. We'll drink some more tea. Yes, yes, yes. Great stream, pan it. Okay, let's see those toys. That's three, that's three. So we're gonna do it. I'm gonna take a sip here and then we're gonna pan, then I'm gonna end it. And that'll make it easier for me to end because the cell phone is facing me and I can't end it sitting there. So this is a perfect way to end it. Jay, it's always a pleasure. Birdman, it's always a pleasure. Wash your step. Yeah, I got a tiptoe in here. Hold on. Alrighty. Time to see the rest of Jay Drone's room. I'm gonna put the Sky Viper on my seat. That goes back on the wall. I'm adjusting my feet here. <laughs> that way I can pan because I brought some extra stuff into the room. I pulled stuff off of the shelf. But we are going to go ahead and take our phone off of the Pac-Man. This phone is hot. This phone is hot. So there's the computer that we were using that I was able to see all your comments on. Um, so, all right, so here... Behind the computer, we have drones. We have boxes of drones. Up here, we have some drones. We got a nice Heineken LED too. Little ghost drones, some more drones. Here's the little, you already seen the wall. You've seen that wall. Um, and then we go over here. Drones, 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 drones. Hey, where's the floor? You can't see the floor. There's drones on the floor. <laughs> um, more drones over here. Um, again, guys, if you haven't hit the thumbs up, please do so. If you are new to this channel, subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. Got more drones on the wall here. We got drones to the ceiling. Got drones to the ceiling. Uh, we got drones over here. Drones on that shelf. RC cars. I got a whole whole stack of RC cars there. Um, drones. A boat. What? A boat? Um, we got a boat over there. We have uh, we have some stuff over here as well. We got drones over there, drones over there, drones on the floor, drones on the floor, drones on the floor, drones on the floor, drones on the floor lots of drones on the floor. The floor is covered in drones. Somebody call an exterminator. Um, and then we got drones up there. And if you can see shoes, um, bam, we'll pan over here. These boxes are full of shoes. This whole cabinet's full of shoes. I like shoes too. I got lots of shoes. Bright colored pair of shoes there. Um, Bamzo, we got a compact disc jukebox. That's the jukebox that I was telling you guys about. Uh, drones, that's where the Sky Viper was. We got drones down there. We had drones over there. Drones in the morning, drones in the evening, drones at supper time. When drones are on the table, you can't eat supper because there's drones on the table. <laughs> um, we got a whole wall full of drones there, man. Um, my That's a desk right there. That's a desk. <laughs> You can't see the desk. It's covered in drones and drone stuff. And that's the closet that I was telling you guys about that I took the took the uh, door off of it. That way we could uh, we could access it a little bit better. But all right, guys. I'm J Drone. If you have not subscribed, smash subscribe button. Questions, comments, concerns down below after this live feed. I appreciate everybody that participated in this live feed. Live feeds go a lot better when you guys participate. And there was a lot of participation. Uh, thank you, guys. We are signing off in three, two, wait. Looks like drone wallpaper. <laughs> yeah, I got drone carpet. I got drone wallpaper. I'm out of here, guys. Later.